ish. Thought we were live. I thought we were live for the last 13 minutes. We've been alive for, <clears throat> yeah, at least the last 13 minutes. I'm like, Crocodile, woo woo, how's it going? Good to see you guarding down. Always wonderful to ish. see you as well. Ish. Yeah, it was a little, this surprising yeah. wasn't ish. We were about, what, I guess six or eight minutes late, something like that, because we've had the opening screen. I count that. Oh, okay, good. As soon as I hit the go live button, so we were, we were less than 10 minutes late. There were a couple of lo fi songs that played, or we were in the middle of the second one, I guess. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So ish is definitely the right wor- word for it. Uh, but uh, happy uh, leap day here. It is uh, February 29th. 2024 uh we've got to talk about a, a podcast on a special day that only happens once every four years once every four years what yeah. did you guys do with your leap day i'll ask uh, this man right here uh, and you are i'm keith oh yeah and i'm andrew oh, yeah, that's and right. we're about beverages so uh mm-hmm. it is a uh, time for podcasting uh we've got uh, three different things we're gonna have tonight in fact one of them being a cocktail as well we're, Ooh, we're, that's right we're gonna do something we're gonna take advantage of this special extra day uh and make a, a martini with a spirit we don't normally make martinis with but it does seem appropriate for this particular type of martini yeah because we want to get lost with all the other good flavors that's right that's right <laughs> i think that is the key right there were you trying to figure out what overrated band shirt to wear and you nailed it oh my gosh i was all my creed shirts were in the wash <laughs> no idea nickelback all the all those were dirty so i didn't have those on so i put on my acdc oh my you God. burned those in you don't like acdc guardian now come on ac he just said overrated that doesn't necessarily mean you don't like it right? Right. That's interesting. That's a good that's question. They might be a little. Well, hmm, that's interesting. I just I don't know how rated they are. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. If I don't over, either. Under, this is basically their last great rated. album. So, like I said, once you from Back in Black, so you had the amazing one and done Brian Johnson, where it was like, oh my god, what an amazing album! This is so fantastic. And then he kind of they just kind of went down. Went wow. Down they, what was the down. next album after? I that? don't know. Fly on the wall. I don't even really know. Okay. We'd have to have uh, our middle brother. We'd have to have Joe here if we wanted to have those kind of answers. I think he may have had an album or two. Also, he should just be there. I know. I should get a picture of him that I can superimpose around. Well. It's not Kiss or Pink Floyd. Yeah, Kiss would have been a very over. I think Kiss is very overrated. I don't know how you feel about that. Oh, once again, I don't know how rated they are. But <laughs> I think they're weirdly popular. They are. I think, they are. But very I think popular. it's because of the spectacle. Because their songs are kind of trash. Like I, yeah, I have a couple albums. Part. Like I, like there's a couple songs here and there. Do you still are, have lo- the. I'm a Joe had Love Gun. I do have Love Gun. Okay, I have Love Gun. And, and I, I had d- like the the cardboard gun and the. Inside oh, that I didn't know. That's kind of yeah, cool. yeah. It was like a. And then, was it actually shaped like a phallus or what are we talking about? No, it was actually it was like a gun. A gun. It was, okay, yeah, no, it was a gun. Uh, Baker, good evening. Hello and good Baker. evening, Bevies. Good to see you. Um, yeah, a guy yeah. at work played... Uh, play. Oh, you know, he actually played the song Love Gun at work <laughs> yeah, uh, week or so in the morning. So That one is one of my... <laughs> like, if, whenever <laughs> I do... like a, Whenever I talk about kind of how like lame their lyrics are... <laughs> Because they think they're amazing. Like I watched a, like a like part of a documentary one time. Good to see you too. Uh, I watched part of a documentary one time, and it was literally like they were like I, I think it was Gene because Gene Simmons. I, there is no man I think that is more full of himself than Gene Simmons. <laughs> but he was talking about he, he was he was like oh and I knew I had all this that and the other and then I heard Paul Stanley and his lyrics and they were so amazing. you know he's talking about it. and I was like all you have to do is listen to song Love Gun. <laughs> I really love you, baby. Love what you got. Let's get together. We can get hot. <laughs> no more tomorrow, baby. Time is today. Girl, I can make you feel okay. I can make you feel okay? Are you fucking wow. kidding me? Wow, like, okay. Let's set the bar a little higher, Rockstar. I rock promise to make you feel okay. Okay, yeah. That's what you want to eat. Like if you're in like extreme pain and you need a doctor. <laughs> yeah. I'm, so, uh, I'm going to make you feel okay. Okay, all right. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, I've, yeah, I've got a gaping chest wound, sucking chest wound. Yeah, I, okay, I'll take okay. I'll take okay. <laughs> yeah, that I will go for. But yeah, when, it's, uh, when you're talking about... Uh, Hey, baby, let's get together. I'm going to make you feel all right. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. But yeah, that is. Because I'm more worried about me. <laughs> maybe, so maybe I'll make you feel was. okay. That's right. Rib uh, for Paul Stanley's pleasure. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did like, uh, um, I was made for love. And but you, once again, baby. More, more great lyrics. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I know I remember Joe had that album and I was like, as I was doing the math, I was like, wait a minute. That was like. Come out like 77 or I 78. I thought it was, I think it's 77. It was like probably 8, 9, 10. Yeah. And, and like, oh, love okay. girl. <laughs> that had, you I think the, that had Christine 16 on it too. I, didn't yeah, you? great. Nice job yeah, there. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people get offended by it. Baby, it's cold right. outside. <laughs> I know that was like said. Yeah, that, I mean, I don't like that song either. <laughs> like, so, so I'm, you know, really I think that song is also kind of ridiculous. But yeah, no, that one's funny. Was it? Uh, 
<laughs> no, no place for hiding, baby. No place to run. You pull the trigger of my love gun, love gun. All right, that had plaster caster on it too. I think the plaster is getting hard. My love is perfection. Hey, you check out my erection. Wait, I don't there's think a family guy with I don't think that's Kiss right. in it, right? Isn't there from early on? There's some family guy with Kiss, but there's also a plaster caster reference. Oh, is have okay. you ever seen that family guy? I don't know. I still have only I'm only up through season nine. And that was a long time ago now. The uh, family guy reference for plaster caster is hilarious, and it's that Lois used to do that. Oh. And Lois, that's the one remember I've made the joke because it's it's uh it's Hall and Oates. Oh, and she's, yeah, think, she's okay. doing a plaster caster on Daryl Hall, and then Oates comes in, and he's like Lois, I'm ready in the dressing room. She's like, I'll be there in a minute, Oats. I'm not coming back for Oats. <laughs> <laughs> so that was always, I thought was pretty funny. Um, all right. The first beverage. Well, we'll get back to that in a second. Let's get drinking yeah. this beverage here. Yeah, let's get, uh, <laughs> let's is, quench our powerful thirsts. Let's quench it right here with this. What is this? You brought this uh, to the tasting table and uh, to my uh, texting, uh, our texting log yes. uh, early this morning. <laughs> <laughs> How is that an actual well, sorry, one? Wow. What the hell? <laughs> Guardian down making some triumphant return with a gifted sub to lovegun.com. Love wow, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> lovegun.com. Guardian down, thank you for the gifted sub <laughs> as <laughs> always. <laughs> uh, that also then reminds me of my other favorite uh, Family Guy one is the uh, Quagmire's Country Tour. Isn't there an O in country? <laughs> nope. <Yeah. laughs> Guardian down, thank you for the game. He just found out <laughs> there was porn on the internet. Yeah. God, he comes out his arms just gargantuan. <laughs> um, have Did I shaken you, this enough? It probably. says to shake vigorously. This is a product of Turkey. is pasteurized. Keith, what is this? It is a uh, Power of Seven Red. Uh, we've had a Power of Seven uh, Purple and Giggity. Green, and this is the newest uh color edition you said the, purple and green yeah we had a purple one What's in purple is it the like purple's like blueberries and oh. uh, that kind of that kind of mean stuff. purple berries purple berries and plums plums uh, in the no it does look purple i don't know if there's plums in there or not but um the green one is more plant based obviously it's got kale and stuff i was to say is it this one's got kale is hibiscus, not a good idea i think and oh god you should have brought that one just so i could have said kale is not a good idea kale is not a good and i haven't had that one i was going to but i, I wanted also to make things simple with links and Artwork and I do photos. appreciate that. Yeah, that's why I thought, well, we'll do this. So, uh, and also too, I know some people are talking about putting like possibly a a neutral spirit of some sort into this. Oh particular man, it's beverage. a vodka so, kind of day on this day. Vodka could even be. I had actually had uh, someone talking about tequila, putting tequila in this. Oh, so blanco boom. tequila, that'd be nice. Me and my son got new spectacles today. Another pair for the drawer. <laughs> You're just like, hey, I got new ones. As I was pouring it, I could already smell the strawberry. That definitely yeah, seems to be the dominant uh, aroma. Let's see. Watermelon, I think, is in there. Mm, yeah, what do we have in here? A blend of organic beet, watermelon, elderberry, and apple juices. Cranberry puree. Cranberry tea. puree. <laughs> and you'd find at your Trader Joe's store. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> as I, I had one it, little shot of it uh, when it first came in. A few as I figured back, it would be. That is really yeah. good. Four ninety nine. I would say how much is for it for 32 first? ounces? Okay. I think it's or is it, or is it a liter, which would be 33.8. It might be that. An interesting shaped bottle. 33.8. You were correct with the liter. Yeah, this is delicious. Yeah. Uh, four ser- So eight, eight ounces per serving. 30 grams of sugars. This is like having half a specker of soda. <laughs> Sprecker. But only eight ounces. Well, that's true. <laughs> and the Spreckers are what? 16? 12 to 16. Uh, yeah, yeah, 16 was the ones you've been bringing over lately. Calcium, 10 milligrams. So, so, what, so, what is the, so to the power of seven red. So what are they going for here? Is I think there's seven super ingredients. Healthy? Right, but is it supposed to be like super healthy? Yeah, it's a, healthier, like, yeah a healthier okay. type of, of beverage. Oh, hibiscus tea is in here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Helps enhance the red colored goodness. <laughs> it might have been just used for I color. think it actually says that on the label. Does it? To, no. To help enhance the red color. Okay. Goodness. I was like, what? Uh, sweet tart, subtly earthy flavors from the variety of organic juices. Plus organic hibiscus tea. Oh, is this all organic too? 
Oh, it is organic. Hello, it was right in the name. Is this 100% organic or just organic? Oh, what did we get? Contains 90% juice. That's a lot. What's the other part? Water. Oh, okay. no, I don't know. To constitute. Sufficient to constitute. <laughs> guess, concentrate. Uh, elderberry. That's the other 10%. Ah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I don't know. Organic beet juice. And your father smelled elderberry. Maybe the puree part. Organic cranberry puree. Oh, I guess the hibiscus, right? Hibiscus flowers. Yeah. Okay. Hibiscus tea. Organic elder. Your father smelt of organic <laughs> elderberry <laughs> juice. Elderberry. I came across uh, the spreadsheet that we had, the Excel spreadsheet, where I used to put all the thing beverages I'd tried and that we used to link to on our site. I still have that. Oh, yeah. And one of the things was when we had the stone, your father smelt of elderberries. When they oh, were when they were yeah. doing like all those experimental yeah. type things. Yeah. Back when stone was stone. When stone was still a stone. Although I've had a couple of things since the merger and they've still been fine. Yeah. They're still putting out some new stuff. Yeah. Um I think they were it's it seems like they're trying to ramp back up into that a little bit, but it definitely is I wonder if they'll have a enjoy by four twenty or something like that. I think they had they something must, like that last yeah. year. They, they, I think they've still been doing the enjoy buys, haven't they? Have you seen any come? Well, I know you think so. Your stock's gotten a little no, smaller. We don't, yeah, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> That'd be extra. That would be extra. Even stuff we're supposed to get. There was um about four or five weeks ago now. Um, on the order guide or the order, yeah, the order guide. Uh, I um. I think it was a collaboration. I looked up, it was a Coronado um, Brewing IPA. In fact, maybe we could look it up. I tried to look it up. I couldn't find a lot of information at that time. It was called Rolo, R-O-L-L-O IPA. And I thought it was a collab between them and somebody else. Rolo? Oh, Roll Call? Rolo. No, it was just Rolo IPA. El Rolo? El Rolo, yeah. I guess okay. that was it. <clears throat> vine and Vine. Yes, I'm over 21. By a lot. We're not bringing a, pe- a pizza port. port. Okay. <laughs> of course, it's pizza <laughs> port. Of course. God. Of course. We I actually though we had the. You still are getting pizza port stuff. The, in there, well, right? yeah, the vacant for winter. We had one come in that was um, vacant for winter. That's what it's called. <laughs> that's pretty funny. A seasonal, and it was. I had one that was brewed just a little over a month ago, and it actually is is a notch above their usual. Okay. So the, it's a little bit, it was had a little extra bitterness. Has the bar just come down so much maybe. that now you're a notch above? Maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's just, yeah, the bar is dropped. But uh, and then also, too, we had uh, what used to be our brother's house, Juicy Hazy IPA. Oh, the church music. Church music? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brewed on 223, canned on 223. Oh, wow. Less than a week old. Did you uh, buy some? I have some at the, I was thinking about, I thought I might bring some over. As an offering for the party that it'll be old by the time postpo- that yeah by then it <laughs> yeah, will no. be but uh, yeah, no you should to, yeah that would have been that. Uh... so but yeah no I've so I've been I've tried to order fifteen cases of this for like the last four or five weeks and it doesn't ship so do they ever tell Anywho. you like uh, you know not to be too inside baseball do they tell you like reason why it doesn't or just like are they they are is it one of those things where like hey our warehouse like I'm I'm assuming there is a mythical Trader Joe's warehouse that things ship well, out well so of, that comes, or how does that work or does so that come direct from a distributor yeah it comes okay. from a dis- an outside distributor so um, they might just not have it although maybe yeah I'll have a little bit more and um, and I I, I I've got, this is the kind of thing I used to pursue a little bit more and say, Hey, I've been trying to order lately. I've just been like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, that sounds like something so, you and I both would I just, used to do. We would yeah. like to, and then also at some point just, you yeah. get dejected by life. <laughs> well, like, I, I just, you know, like with, we, we didn't get the Sierra Nevada celebration ale until cause you bought it all middle of January. <laughs> you bought a case of it. You I it bought all. it. I bought it at Costco. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Until yeah. the middle of January is when they finally shit. I, and I, I emailed see. like, Two or three times. Oh, we'll check it. I'm Can you respectfully saying, send that back? No, it's sold. Oh, never mind. It's sold. It's sold quickly, actually. People were, you know, still trying to fill that void from the holidays. <laughs> Probably, no, <I'm> yeah. So. <laughs> the melancholy and the infinite sadness, both those voids. Uh, crisp, refreshing beer is brewed with a blend of Simcoe, Chinook, and Columbus cryo hops. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that would have been good to try. Yeah, it would be. If did it you, ever shows up, it? I'll bring one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just wondering if it wasn't like, you know, when stuff doesn't show up, you're just like, oh, this wasn't on your, or this wasn't it. Like, and it's usually like, I know when we used to order stuff from, you know, Cisco and other different, you know, companies, it was always like, you know, they would 
kind of even if it was like generic, it usually be like, oh yeah, it didn't, it didn't arrive at Out our stock warehouse in time. We don't have, yeah. yeah, we didn't even get any yeah. in, or we only had so much to fulfill certain orders, and they were in by you know yeah. by how you shipped them in. Or sometimes we used to get like, like almost like a heads up from some of the places we would deal with. And they'd say like, hey, I know you normally order this thing. We're running low on it. Like yep. get your order in soon so that we can like kind of almost like pre-fill it. We won't ship it out earlier, but, you know, we'll hold yeah. it back for yeah, you or whatever. We used to get that sometimes. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Yeah, this is good. You could actually you could add tequila to that. I think tequila would be oh, the right nice move. Blanco would be. Yeah, I think tequila good. would be the right move to throw. Gin would there. probably be a little too much. Maybe. Depends on the gin. Like if you yeah. did a two oh, like if you went with something that's a little more citrusy or. Yeah, two oh nine. Yeah, and not quite as uh, that English style forward. Um, like I said, yeah, that would probably be pretty good. But yeah, blanco tequila in there would probably be pretty good. Mm. You know, what I was thinking too. We've never done a, and it's a lot of this today with uh, St. Patrick's Day a few weeks away, and a couple of years ago how that didn't work out. Ooh, that did not but go well. One of the components. In go the, back in the in archives the, on YouTube. Yeah, one of the components in the cocktail that we're making tonight is I is Irish cream. So oh, that's we could true. Just do a quick little shot of that plain before we make the cocktail wow. oh yeah we should is that oh. one that you carry at trader joe's because actually you brought over two and you I said, you wanted, to, you, said they, you wanted to do a taste test yeah so both of them are ones that have been carried at trader joe's okay at one time or another so yeah <laughs> is one of them currently carried at trader joe's correct okay <laughs> I wasn't sure. one of them is currently carried at trader okay joe's. one of yeah. them is currently carried at trader joe's it is the one um did we talk last week that i had actually finished the bear now you had the last episode to watch. Okay, was I at the last? And you said, "Oh, I was be interested once the last episode." Uh, right? and I, okay, yeah. so we find we finished. We did finish that um, this last week. Oh, I hated the last episode. Oh yeah, and I, I, it's funny. Absolutely and I, hated and I was the last so, episode. As you were telling me all the good hey, things. Well, were, I should say I loved a lot of it, but then there were certain things that uh, just literally made me mad. I, I, I don't do this, but I actually texted. Uh, Jay, I actually texted Jay yeah. <laughs> and I was like, cause, cause we had talked about it when we went and saw the tool concert. I, I was like, yeah, I was like, if you watch the bear and we had this great conversation, he's like, oh my God, this show's so great. And he loved it. And we were, yeah. you know, I was like, okay, well I'm only here. So don't, you know, at that time I was, I think yeah. we hadn't even seen that Christmas episode yet. I think I called it a Thanksgiving episode a couple weeks ago, but it was Christmas episode. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, you're right. Um, but uh, but anyway, so anyway, but so we were just talking about that. It's so good, and the characters, and we just love the way it's shot and the food. You know, just the way they do the food stuff, and even if it's not, you know, some of that stuff like perfect, like you know, some of it, yeah. you know, with the like, oh, that needs more ass. You know, they're talking about those little things yep. and throwing out terms, which is neat. Um, and and I would love the episode. So I don't know if I talked about that last week, but like I said, love the episode so much too, where. Um, Cousin goes off. It's forks. The forks episode yep. is just so good. Like yep. that one's just so well done. Yep. How all that happens and how everything feeds back into the restaurant and you know stuff with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis in that last episode was kind of you know I didn't quite know what they were going to do with her. I'm glad yeah. she didn't make a scene in there. So I yeah. guess that's good. And she in a way almost is is gotten better just because she knows she would make it a bad thing or make it about yep. her in some way yep. and her being out there. So that was kind of interesting. That other guy just seems like he's just like the sad man always in the middle of the family disputes. The, half oh, the time the husband? family, yeah, half the time the family doesn't like him or yeah. teases him yeah. or then like, you know, even when he's trying to do good things, like yeah. it never winds up working out. Then it's worked out a little bit better between yeah. him and, uh, and Carmen, like Carm. So that's gotten a little better. And then like I said, then that, like he's in between. Yeah. yeah. That stuff. But, no, I absolutely despise it. You were, and uh, also because of the, what they did at the end too. I was like, if this is what you had to do to get him out, why didn't that happen hours ago or whatever, half hour ago or whatever? Oh, the cutting. And yeah, the, like yeah. I thought it was like they're waiting for a locksmith to keep this thing in like tact, and it's like, yeah. okay, this is terrible that he's in there. But and also, yeah. thankfully, they didn't need to get in there for any of the other things to finish the dishes. Yeah, which I was I like, okay, that's a little bit of a stretch too. Yeah. But I was like. Okay, but yeah, then, yeah, that one, like I said, again, I know. You would think there'd be a different way to fix that handle without having to well, cut him out. I was trying to, I, I kept trying, I can't remember the door. Like, I mean, obviously, we've worked with freezer doors. We've had yeah, it like, that, I, they, that doesn't happen anymore. It can't. It literally, like, can't, because there's, like. There's a safety thing. There's a, they yeah, exactly. And, and it's on the other side, like, that, literally, that part always engages. So, I don't yeah. quite know. Yeah. I, I know there I'm was sure there, to get. I know there was a get in factor, and I was like, okay, well, that definitely could be a thing where you couldn't get the door open unless you did something weird. But I, that kind of yeah. like I said that that seemed like a little bit like we're trying to set like too many things turned into plot devices that then like I said you know that sometimes starts to frustrate and like I yeah. said and then also why are you back there? Why are you saying anything? 
why didn't you just say like one more sentence after all of this? Like on his, like there were so many things where it was like, why didn't like nine other little things happen? I was yeah. just like that really. Yeah. And that's, it's funny when you were talking about it. It seems like it. everybody universally did not like, I've yeah. talked with other okay, people good. too, where it's, yeah, where I've, you know, I've been like, oh, we finally finished the bear. And like, you know, people like said that, you know, either that I'm in their Twitch streams or, oh, did you like it? I was great. I'm like, but man, that last episode was like, oh my God. Yeah. I hated that too. Like everyone was just like universally, like I hated the stupid episode, yeah. like that portion of it. Like, cause the other stuff was so good. Yep. And then that's just so ridiculous that yep. he's, why he's saying any of those things, just even to the ether. Right. Doesn't even make sense. Think those in your head, maybe. Like, you know, where you're talking about, like, do I deserve, you but know, I think love that's or his, all those things. So I, I get that. And maybe that's just his process. I think that's like, his demon, maybe. or. But he was also loud enough that yeah, you could I hear know. that clear. Like, there was just yeah. so many things. I was like, man, they are really, yeah. like, that That just seemed like we needed to do this for a plot device. And it just was so unnecessary. Yeah. They could have just left him locked in there and whatever I, I don't know there's some other things they could have done the, the I, cliffhanger I there but yeah the, yes they could have cliffhangered her walking into the, I, I don't know the, it yeah. was um as you were recounting your experience last week and you were talking about all the good things that you know yeah they have a issue and instead of letting it go on for five episodes they talk about it they resolve it they right. you know you were taught you were saying all of these things <laughs> and i'm thinking i'm thinking yeah that's all true and i thought I, I was like, I, I'm not going to say it. I tried to keep my poker face. So I'm glad I did. Cause I, <laughs> cause I thought you're going to hate that last episode. I was thinking that in my head as we were uh -huh. talking, if, if, if we went back and watched the archive, I could tell you exactly what I was thinking. I'm a, uh, Cause yeah. and maybe it was even, who knows, maybe I could see it, but yeah, I, uh, well, cause it was, yeah, one of those it, was it was such a bummer. Cause yeah, cause she's so, she's great. She's the, awesome. Uh, and, and he's just, it's like, yeah, that's and, one of those things where it's like, again, and then this is like superficial, but if she was like a bitch and like someone you hated on the show and wish they weren't together, you'd be like, finally, she heard yeah, it. Yeah. But okay. It's like, you love this yeah. character. You love their relationship that's starting to like blossom. And you're like, what the yep. fuck? But maybe that's his thing of sabotaging yeah. anything when. And who yeah, knows? Know. That could be something. That's what, this is what's bad about like actually being caught up on television. Because if I like had to like if it was like, oh, and then we're going to start season because who knows season three may start and it's him literally running over there and like explaining what he was saying and why his head works that way and yeah. what he really was meaning or thinking or whatever else. But yeah, like all, all or is it a dream sequence? That whole thing like a nightmare sequence that his worst fear would be to get locked in that. Oh, that'd be interesting. Oh, put a little Dallas thing on there. Remember the whole yeah, that's right. Who well, shot Jr. He wasn't really dead; it was a dream or something. Oh, was that what they wanted something to do? like that? Yeah, or right. how they ended up the uh, Bob Bob Newhart show? Oh yeah, or no uh, Newhart? Yeah. How they ended New up Newhart? Newhart yeah. That it was this, he was the dream. I had the weirdest dream. I was running this in with this beautiful blonde woman. <laughs> Tell me, excuse me, <laughs> Sam Plachette. Yeah, Blanco Tequila, hundred percent. I think would actually add something to that. Yep, that would actually be pretty good. You feel good about yourself and you get a little tipsy. <laughs> Do perfect things. But yeah, we finished that. Um, I don't think we really started or anything else. Had a few people recommend a few other shows. There's some new Shogun show or something on. Oh, that's um, on Amazon Prime. I is think, that on right? Amazon? I okay. think that's what that's on. Yeah. My oh, wife, no, no. Maybe it's FX. My wife's still been watching Northern those. Exposure. Oh, that's... <laughs> And she's sitting through all these commercials like all the time. <laughs> like, oh, on Hulu? Oh, you guys don't know. No, it's on Prime. Isn't it on Prime? Oh, is that Prime too? Oh. Yeah, that's on Prime. Jeez. Yeah, so it's Stupid like full 20 and 30 now. second ads. Yeah. Oh, well. It's like, can I give up some of these other features and not have to look at it? Right. Is it okay if I. I yeah. don't use your Amazon Music. I don't use this. I don't use. Can I give up these four things and yeah. just have, have that not be a problem? Yeah, that's, uh, that's very annoying. They should let you choose a la carte. Yeah. This is, you pay this, mm -hmm. pick five features, yep. two day shipping, uh, right. no commercials on am. You know, yeah. You don't want these. Build, build but your, they probably build your know, prime bundle. They probably know that everybody would pick those same things, but that's a good idea. Build your prime bundle. Mm -hmm. Build your bundle. Building the perfect this costs piece. This much is, but then they'd probably figure it out so that there'd be a certain algorithm where most people are going to pick this and they're going to for five dollars more i might as well just have this pack because right it was one of those services maybe it was even hulu that there were certain there was a, or maybe it was bling i can't remember i had subscribed to like the all sports package oh because yeah it was yeah. like just a few dollars more to get everything as opposed to like having just espn 
And it was like, yeah. Anyway. Because ESPN, that they was always the thing like ESPN costs the most, like, or whatever, like there was, yeah. excuse me, there was all that stuff with the, with cable, like why they don't do a la carte cable. Cause it's like basically the bigger networks almost like fund the little small independent ones yeah. in some way. But yeah. Enjoying a cold one while cooking dinner, watching my favorite beverage brother and Andrew. Oh my God. See, wow. this, see this is the thanks Dang. I get. Man, Dang. and literally well, I was thank ju- you, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> literally, I was just thinking about your award winning chili the other day, and this is the thanks I get. Hmm. What kind of cold uh, one are we having, Chucky? Are we I having one of those? That was, uh, a, that was the cold one, I think. <laughs> that might have been the wow. cold one. That is accurate. <laughs> that is accurate right there. <laughs> Cooking some dinner. What are you having for dinner, Chucky? Eight light lager. That's Eight? Troy Aikman's, I think, right? Yep. Troy Aikman's new beer. How is it compared to... Is it a new... Oh, is the light the new one? Because he's had it. It's organic. It's an organic lager. See, I see him oh. on Dan Patrick every once in a while. So it was only available in Texas, but he said they were going to be expanding. Uh, is Chucky in Oklahoma? Chucky's, yeah, in Oklahoma, okay. right? Somewhere in like in that yeah, area, right? Yeah, it's funny because it, right before the Super Bowl, Aikman was on... <laughs> Frosty, thank you for the 19 month sub. But for the first day back working again, this was an abnormally long day. It's like they expect me to work more now. That seems ridiculous. Frosty, thank you for the 19 months. I appreciate that, bud. Glad you had a long but decent day back to work. Eight Elite Light Lager is what's on the can. That is a real annoying tongue twister. <laughs> It might, uh, it, which with it, the amount of times that Troy Aikman's been hit, he probably is not good at saying that phrase say. right there. <laughs> he should probably be careful. I said nothing about decent. Fair. I should. I have added that in there. I apologize. <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad at least your day is over. Will you be spreading some democracy in Hell Divers, uh, Frosty? What are you going to do for the rest of the evening? Dinner is baked penne pasta, garlic bread, and salad. Damn, how can you cook in a nice meal? I love it. That sounds great, bud. It was another day where I got insulted by being in a meeting. For democracy! (laughs) For the children. (laughs) For the children. (laughs) What's that? Oh, I thought you were doing the for the children from uh, uh, um, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. That's how the beginning ends. He hands hands him that necklace and she says, says, but think of the children. For the children. And then it goes right into the music as the movie starts. I haven't watched that in a while. That's a great movie. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. There you go. Look at the tie-ins we've done. (laughs) All here. Oh, Lady Fanny of Omaha. I will say eight tastes pretty much like any run-of-the-mill domestic light. Okay, so then, uh, so if it tastes any run-of-the-mill, is it more or less? I'm assuming it's more because obviously you're not Can you taste the organic ingredients? Okay. Yeah, can you (laughs) taste? Yeah. Like, I'm assuming it's more because you're not going to be able to compete with Miller Light or Bud Light or any of those other kind of things well, yeah they were ran- silver he, bullets of the world at the time he was he was saying that he's like i can't tell you yet he's like but we are um, uh, increasing our distribution and uh dan, dan patrick's like uh to a state where maybe you went to school for a little bit because he started out of oklahoma oh well, he's like maybe so anyway. oh so, nice yeah. so there you go yeah. where did you find it chucky was it just at a local like a uh, bigger like Grocery store kind of thing or local liquor store. Belching Beaver Golden Stout. That is an alliterative name. I know. Tastes a lot like Miller Lite with the slightest bit of hoppiness. Oh, okay. So a little over and above then compared to to that. Okay. Now, now if it's light, what are they going for? Is that like nine? Well, what is Miller Lite? 96 calories and 2.6 carbs or something like that? I don't know why I know that now. Those numbers, (laughs) but I do. I think those are actually correct. Um, yeah, so it is Belching Beaver. That is about what we're going to go grab here in just a second. It is Belching Beaver's Caramel Mocha Latte Golden Stout. Um, this is kind of a new category, at least to us. It's uh, kind in the of, last like month and a half. Yeah, around Keith the and holidays, I have accidentally I think, yeah. stumbled onto many of them. Yeah. Unbeknownst to us. One of them our brother bought. You bought one. Did we have two or three of I them? Had, well, I remember I had one when we went out to visit Dad that time. So, That's correct. And okay. I had one at, so yeah. we did that. And then when I brought, I had a can too, didn't I? Didn't I bring? Yeah. One? Then you had brought a yeah. can over and yeah. then our other brother had bought yeah. one and it turned out that was also, so we've had like three of three. these. Yes. They're kind of odd. 
just because yeah. you see the word stout, you're used to thinking of like heavy and rich and, and different things yeah. like that. But the golden part, they they leave out <laughs> the things. I don't exactly know what makes it a stout anymore. Then yeah. I don't know what yeah, that bit is about. But uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it is interesting. 90 calories, 2.6 carbs on eight. Okay, okay. that's pretty close. Golden stout is that like the Oreo golden cookies? Maybe that's what they're going for. I don't know. Does it say on here? Let's see if I can actually, or we actually grab it and have it. Did I, bring, I think I already wrote it here. A golden stout is technically a beer that tastes like a rich dark stout, but without the color. That definitely is something you'll recognize right away. Yeah, the color is not uh, of what you would normally expect from a stout. Um, but I didn't most have a blonde it. or perhaps amber color. Certainly a top novelty or niche beer, but interesting from a brewer's perspective. Because the beer is brewed without the dark roasted grains we associate with traditional stouts. Okay. So they're probably using heavier caramel malts, things like that. Munich, they're using that, those like those darker ones to get it as dark as they can without actually throwing in the roasted stuff. Interesting. It just doesn't taste like a, what I think a stout should taste like. Most of them have the coffee base, like have had coffee in them too, which is interesting. So I don't know if they're using that to kind of incorporate the roastiness of it, which this one is as well. Um, This one, they're going for a mocha cafe latte thing. We like stuff from Belching Beaver. So I saw it at our local tap and bottle and said, let's have it. Let's do it. Seems like it could be a big opportunity to lean in on vanilla and other lighter flavors. Yeah, Yeah, this one 100% is. This one uses uh, caramel backbone, notes of coffee, chocolate, subtle hints of baking spice. I thought this one actually mentioned that it had it doesn't say, but this one this one's doing caramel. But yeah, caramel, I'm sure vanilla. Um, I think this one said it did use cocoa nibs and stuff in here as well. But yeah, it should be interesting. Like I said, you can click the link if you want to see uh actual uh stuff on the can and some more information there. Advertising. Um all right, let's uh get rid of these glasses, go get some new glasses, and uh we're gonna have this golden stout, and then we're gonna finish up the evening having a an espresso martini. Yes. That we're going to make here on the air a uh, recipe, uh, a old family recipe, not our family though. <laughs> I don't know if it's an old family. It's a, oh, okay. it's a riff on a, a, yeah, an espresso martini, uh, from, uh, my son's, uh, best friend and my coworker, Nick. So, and that is actually like up at one of the local stores, right? We have it. Yeah. In our, uh, at, yeah. In our, well, it's in the beer section right now. Cause we don't carry a lot of beer anymore. So I have room <laughs> to feature uh, a mixed drink, which I've, you know, featured a Manhattan. I've featured, um, some different holiday themed cocktails over the last six months. And, uh, and that's the one that's currently being featured at our store. Okay. Well, we'll talk a little bit more about that later, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna take a quick break and we will go grab a beverage. Let's get right stout. Like perfect timing pretty much on that song ending Boom. thank you guys all for hanging out hj how's it going good to see you we were just talking about oh, you because yes. we were talking about the bear we we're talking about the bear season two episode 10 season two episode 10 Not which which so i good. thought the i thought it was going to end episode eight because the first season was only eight episodes then the second season was 10 and i was like they should have stopped at nine. they should have stopped at eight or nine <laughs> they should have stopped right there and then it would have been totally fine yes everything would have been okay uh jam how's it going hell i don't know how you get your uh, question marks to get upside down but that's a that's a neat trick i i do like that that is a, that is, that is a fascinating yeah. trick um do you turn your keyboard upside down maybe when oh, you type maybe that? is that work yeah. it'd be i like that idea <laughs> It's all going to be fine, probably. I think that, yeah, what was it uh, to quickly summarize? Um, I said, well, maybe the first episode of the next season starts out with him, like, just like literally like running like to her house or something like that, right. and then meeting up and him explaining why he actually said the, what he is and the therapy he's going through or whatever. And there's like a whole long thing back and forth. And then it gets fixed in the first episode. Or you said maybe a dream sequence. Maybe yeah, it was a, his nightmare. <laughs> maybe that was his nightmare. He'll wake up. <sighs> Opening opening oh, day, God, and he gets only, locked yeah. in this thing, and then everyone does well around him, and didn't even need. I thought at some point he would just. I thought at some point he would actually have a long speech about, "Does anyone here even need me?" Because they made it through this night without me. I've been trapped. I thought it was going to go that route, and no. it went the kind of like less yeah. uh, less interesting route. Yeah. So. Yes. Anyway, I mean Claire knows he is messed up. I know, but she was she was she out. Thought she was having a, 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 an influence on. I know, and then the worst is that they did it the opposite way too, where. He has the like they have that little thing that happens. She leaves and then he listens to that voicemail message. 
Oh, right, right. <laughs> Let's just stab right. the night even a little harder. <laughs> just all the freaking way. Dream sequence. What is this? Some terrible show like Lost? Thank God, no. Thank God, no. We're only speculating. Lucky, it is good to see you. How are you doing this fine Lucky evening? must be traumatized because the Chiefs, I heard, uh, are not bringing back Mar- Mar- Marquez Valdez Scantling. So. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be good. If it's one less jersey, Lucky has to buy it. They don't bring him back. I think it's at the start of every league year. That's when Lucky says, like, all right, who's on the roster? I've got to buy a jersey from everybody who's on the roster. Wow, that's a lot of jerseys. I know it is. Lucky's here. Well, see you later. Oh, oh Chucky. Wow. Oh, my God. That's Chuck. the cold one. That's... <laughs> <laughs> that is Chucky's full one. of cold ones while he's oh making dinner. Oh my god. Let's go spread some democracy, <laughs> Chucky, after dinner. Get it done. <laughs> um We've got kind of an interesting uh beer style, I guess. That at least to us it's kind of been hitting us a little bit more lately or showing up a little bit more on our on our doorstep. And by doorstep, we've accidentally been grabbing them, I guess. I yeah. don't even know. One of them was definitely by accident. One two of them kind of on purpose. The three Carl of them, Strauss I guess. One this I had, yeah, I knew that it said golden stout, but I didn't I don't think I fully understood that when the one i ordered off oh, the menu okay. at the restaurant didn't say that that's right it didn't say it was a golden salad that was a, a that yeah. was a trick that was some that was deceptive yes and was not a treat you yes. liked it you liked it okay it was okay it was all right yeah all right well let's see if this one yeah. that we've got here uh yeah. from belching beaver <laughs> like does any better um what is this called i've got a graphic of this i probably should have that right that's this professional podcast right here look at that Ooh, that's what is nice that? What have we got? That's the uh, Caramel Mocha Latte Golden Stout by Belching Beaver Brewery. It is not a nitro, so I don't have to pour it vigorously, thank God. 6% <laughs> alcohol. I uh, got this at my local tap and bottle. I like stuff from Belching Beaver. Yep. And then also I was like, we actually haven't had one of these. on." The-. And I think I even in a tweet today called it a blonde stout. Like I, I think I've been interchanging, which I guess that is another Golden option. blonde. Yeah. yeah, I think that actually is another option. Gentlemen, that can happen. prefer blonde stouts. Oh, that gold should be a good name. Yeah. As, this is definitely very gold. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not even... We first taste with our eyes. We do. And to me, that does not taste like a stout. That <laughs> does not taste like a stout. With my eyes. My eyes tell me that doesn't taste like a stout. Hmm. <laughs> Jacob's Ladder. My, <laughs> Jacob. my eyes say no, but my lips say see my eyes or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Her, yeah. Who else wants the smoke? Chucky's heavy with the smoke. Her lips said, no, no, but my eye, No, wait, it was one of those. Yeah, her her lips said, said no, that. but her eyes said, see my lips. See, read my lips. That was it. <laughs> whole episode could have been a whole Jacob's Ladder situation. Maybe he died in that freezer. That would be interesting. You remember Jacob's Ladder, don't you? I did see that and, uh, in the Tim, theater, maybe? Tim, Robbins. Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins. It was a Vietnam kind of trippy thing or whatever. Danny Aiello. And, like the whole time, there, because you're like, oh my God, is there a demon? Like Jason Alexander. Not... Oh, was he in it too? Yeah. Uh, Tim Robbins' girlfriend is actually um, Mary Elizabeth the, Master Antonio. No, <laughs> damn it. Her, she I, Elizabeth Pena, I believe, was her name. And she was she played Gloria's mom on Modern Family, and she wasn't oh. actually very much older then. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I remember reading that. And she's no longer with I us. Like, so that's mm. a movie like I, I have not seen it in a very long time. I don't know if the movie is good, but that's one of those like first like what a twist! Oh yeah, like, because like, yeah. like, he's always going to Daniel Ellis's chiropractor. And he's always going in there and getting yeah. the adjustments and yeah, yeah, exactly. But then like, but yeah, then that's, stuff that's kind of like weird, trippy, supernatural, yeah. like what? And it's like basically, it's like he's on the table and it's like God and the devil are like fighting for his soul in a way or something like that. Because then he winds, I think he winds up dying at the end, right? Spoilers yeah, for movie. To, it's like thirty years old. I think, I think it's nineteen ninety, ninety ninety one. No, like shut up. Yeah. No way. 90? Yeah. I mean, I guess that's still 30 some years old, so yeah. I wasn't that far off. No. Well, that's that's painful to know. Jacob's Ladder. The song by Huey Lewis in the News. That's b- Step. Sure, I meant that. By one. 1990, step. Keith. My God, right on. I either rented it and watched it in the apartment I had on Sunrise, or we were, I was living there when I saw it, so I knew it had to be right around 90 or 91. So Jacob's Ladder ending. He was dead through the entire movie. So it's kind of like almost like a little uh, oh, uh, okay. sense kind of thing. Okay. The dead throughout the whole movie. This is one of the most memorable plot twists in a movie and is often what people think of when they talk about Jacob's. That's the part I think of. I don't remember. I remember a little bits of the other stuff, but that's what I think about. So yeah, not so. Uh, <laughs> I guess this is what we should expect. They're literally well, showing course. us yellow here on the graphic. Yep. They're saying um, golden. They're saying Even golden. the coffee beans in are the lighter. picture are lighter. So, yeah. All right. Well, to the aroma? Yeah. 
Ooh. There's a lot of caramel coffee and vanilla. There's a lot of that is it's almost cotton candy in a way. I don't know if it's beer anymore at this point with that aroma. That is, yeah, that is definitely a mocha latte. My initial, yeah, was, Do you get was any? a sweetness. Maybe a little. Yeah, a lot of sweet. Definitely yeah. caramel. Caramel. Coffee. Maybe a little vanilla. What else is in here? Maybe a little something like wafer cookie or it's wafer thin. It's wafer thin. It's wafer something, thin. some kind of cookie. Microbes, how's it going? Good to see you. Cheers. Oh, how's you know your those Thursday? cookies that you have and they're like really thin, crispy, and then there's like the a filling wafer. on the inside. Yeah, and and but there's like a filling in there. Yeah. Oh, those ones that are literally like a wafer. And yeah, like and the, stuff in the yeah. What are those like, called? I don't know, but it's this. Is what it reminds me of it's because it's it's very sweet. Very sweet. Yeah, this almost smells like you got some sort of like. I mean, it's mocha latte, but like macchiato, like something like that at Starbucks or whatever, where it's like, I don't yeah. even know this is a coffee beverage anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this, this stopped being coffee a long time ago. <laughs> the taste? Yeah. Work is shambles, so we'll be lurking, but didn't want to miss uh, every stream this week. Well, microbes, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Sorry, work is in shambles. I like microbes. Fascinating to see the responses like to this drink. Yeah, like it's again, some of this stuff is very interesting. It's kind of a newer style that's come out. It's very niche. Uh, I think you know there are only so many things brewers can keep doing. Like I'm surprised. Like I had, I kind of hadn't been to Tap and Bottle in a little bit, and I was like, I need to go in there and just walk around and look. And it's like, oh my God, how are this many new kind like new thing? And and they're not like really. It's like you know because it's the same you know eight or ten hops. It's the same you know a lot of right. those things in different proportions. And you find the ones you love, and then you just kind of keep. You know, yeah. looking for whatever's new. And I think that's what almost like the beer industry has turned into. Like, it used to be like, oh, what are you going to go get? Oh, I'm going to get a six pack of Stone IPA or I'm going to go get like whatever. Like I, I almost unless I am doing it for a nostalgia trip on some sort of, you know, uh, I guess, you know, just like the house beer or whatever it is, the house IPA or stout or whatever that might be. Like, I just don't like you're just grabbing whatever the new thing. And I think that's all this industry like is now is like think of a new cl- like once a month, they probably have to come up with like eight new beers. Even if it's all from like, you know, the same, like this one has 20% more of this and this has 10% more of that. And what's the new name for the, it's just, I don't know. It seems like it's just gotten kind of, kind of drab in, in that way. In to the me. cycle of things, you'd almost think then they'd have to come back to just, you know what, let's just brew the staples brew the basics, you know, or something. But it, it, it is, it's, it is the continued need to create something new and either it's a new process yeah. or find the newest hop or another way to process that hop or how long do you boil how long do you what right you, it's it's like yeah uh, tweaking those processes yeah. see if you yeah. find something that's a little bit a little bit better chucky i like that beer is a scam i keep falling for no, it's good. true like i keep buying and, and, I, and i enjoy them so don't take it that i don't enjoy the ones that i'm getting right it's just like i i don't know if i find that much different anymore when it comes to specifically like ipas which i know is not everybody's cup of tea but like because it's an ipa um but there it is. Not my cup of tea IPA. Yeah, exactly. Which they'll do very soon. But like when we like so when we went uh like so when uh HA like when we went up to the tool concert and we went to Arizona Wilderness, we walked in there. That was like kind of like the eye opening because I was telling you about that a little bit. They had like I wish we could, had time to spend a little more time there because they had like 20 or 30 different things, probably 30 different things to try. And they all were very unique and different. Like I told you they had a Saison that had oolong tea in it. They had some stuff, like I said, HA had something that was uh had uh, I think it used red wine grapes. I can't remember. You'll probably remember. It was Zinfandel, maybe. Um, the one I had used like uh, hemp or hemp seeds in it. Um, so it was like a lot of different things that I was like, okay, these like those felt like very unique. Right. I think the IPA section to me, maybe that's the, maybe just that section in general has just gotten like, okay, you know, I have certain breweries that I know I love, so I'll just grab some IPAs from them because I love those. But yeah, the, the searching out for new ones of those is not as interesting. It's like kind of like when I found a couple of these, it turned into that. And I was, which I don't know. And like, you could say the same thing about those too, but I think I still like, even though it's about to get warm here again, like I'm looking for more stouts still. Like I bought a prairie stout. I made sure I got at least like two or three stouts. Yeah. And then I was like, yeah, I should grab a couple IPAs because I, I want those for easy drinking deliciousness, but it's not as exciting to like, I'm not finding excitement in there. Like so then I, does that eventually push us back to, like our favorites somewhat like it, push, yeah. it pushes me back to my favorite breweries. Okay. It pushes me back to like, Oh, I want to grab a couple IPAs. Like I'm not looking for 
new breweries are doing stuff, it turns into like, okay, I, what's, let me grab something from Pueblo Vida. Let me grab something from La Cumbre Brewing Company. Let me grab something from Dragoon. Like what, like I'm looking Tombstone, at some of those. Yeah. yeah. Although to be honest, I had a Dragoon. The, have you had the Floresita? I did. That really let me down actually. I was just going to say that. It was especially. I had it on stream the other day. I was like, it's, it's good. Because like, uh, I bought it. It's a 12 ounce can. Right? Yeah. I bought that and I, and I remember looking at the date and it was pretty fresh and brand new, supposed to be juicy, all this stuff. Mm. And, and I, I poured, I was like, this isn't anything like it says. Nope. That was like, this isn't bright or juicy or flat. There was like, it was, yeah, it was pretty bland. Yeah. I, I was surprised just that it wasn't I was, what they I was, said it was. And I, maybe I set the bar too high. I was actually excited for it. Yeah. Because I was looking and I, like I said, again, I grabbed one from La Cumbre. Like I really love their stuff a lot. Like I said, just across the board, everything they do, their Hefeweizen, their, like I said, their Malpais stout. Like I love all their stuff, <laughs> whether it's seasonal or new. So I was... And all of a sudden, right next to it, I saw that. And I was like, oh, great. A new, I was like, juicy IPA. Yeah. I'm like, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like... And yeah, I poured it and I was like, first of all, it was clear, which is, I think all they kind of do anyway. They don't do like any of the, like the hazy stuff, right? right. which that was my fault in my head. When I see juicy, I've just learned to think oh, hazy now. Okay. So that's wrong. That's on my, that's yeah. on me. Yep. So when I poured, I was like, oh, that's, I was like, oh, you know what? It says juicy. It doesn't actually say hazy. That's on me. Right. But then I was like, okay. And like the smell is like, like, okay, it's not bad. It's not like super like great. So then I, I look, I don't know the other thing I it was, it's a session IPA. Oh, it's does like, it say that you've got to search for it. Okay. All right. And by search for it at their website, because I couldn't even oh. find some of the information on the can. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I don't it's, remember seeing that. It's a 4.6% session IPA. But then they talk about that. We're still bringing all the brightness, you know, all that kind of stuff. So then, mm. so like I, I, my expectations got in the wrong spot because of their marketing. And again, yeah. part of that's on me. Like I said, well, I'm going I'm to say yeah, that. some of it, but you know, not all like, of it, but like I said, for the amount, it was nice though, because it's critical sometimes as I have their website because they don't put up their latest information on stuff or archive some of their other things. They did have write ups on there and some of the, and that was how I found out like the sessionable part. But I was still like, I was like, oh, this is that this should is have good. been on the can though. I don't, I don't recall seeing it. I don't. Think I don't I have know. The can I never anymore. saw it. Okay. And I looked at because I wanted to see what. And I actually after I drank it, I was like, wait, did I read? about this wrong with did I did I have my expectations set incorrectly I didn't think it was going to be hazy but I did think it was going to be more flavorful than yeah. it was Floricita for sure. is our take on a session IPA okay. it's lower in alcohol content and bitterness than a traditional IPA but has some intensity of hop aroma and flavor much more than that of a traditional pale so they're kind of going more than a pale maybe not yeah. quite an IPA so pretty soon you'll just be drinking nothing but nut browns again I mean you never know I haven't had a Newcastle nut brown in a long time <laughs> I feel like the beer industry is also leaning too much on marketing and cool can design. Yeah. That is a lot of it. Like I said, there are some breweries that I like, like, you know, there's a bunch that are leaving my head right now, but like Adroit Theory is one that I can't get their stuff right now. Adroit Theory was one of my favorite breweries. Um, if you're on the East Coast and you see that stuff and you want to send me some, well, let me know. Um, you can actually order to hear from them. And I oh, thought okay. about ordering like stuff, but then I was like, yeah, it gets kind of expensive. Yeah. Um, but like I said, they, like I said, their stuff is really good, but like tripping animals, like there's just a lot of breweries now where it's like, yeah, over the top kind of can designs and, and they're good, but it's like, yeah, they're just like, they're just kind of pushing the limits of, I don't feel like I'm getting more for the money and the searching yeah. out of new things. Yeah. And it's, and especially when it's a little more hit and miss, that's where it's like, I would go back to my, like, I know Pueblo Vida is going to be good. I know, you know, like I said, these other ones are going to be delicious, yep. you know? And so then it's kind of, which is why I've gravitated back toward Carl Strauss sometimes when I see those, which is why I bought that golden stout to begin with. Cause I, and then unfortunately, and unfortunately the rug but, was pulled out from under ye. So it, it says flowers, citrus, and melon. I wish I got so those. So those are, but even those are not necessarily melons don't necessarily bring like juiciness to when I, so melon, so melon, maybe. so melon can be like juicy when you're eating it, but yeah, it's not but like not, it's, it's not like it's flavorful, flavorful juicy, if that juicy. makes sense. Yeah. Yep. No. Isn't Carl Strauss the one you feud with? You, <laughs> I don't think it was, was it Carl Strauss? They used to have uh they, no, they were at uh, the Disney, the paradise pier. Did you feud yeah, with, I don't that? with that? But I, was it Carl Strauss or was it, uh, I want to say, Who's the one that does the, um, who does, uh, the, uh, the parabola and those, uh, heavy 
seasonal ones. We used to buy them the tiny little bombers, and they had them out every year. Like it was like it's it's got the two lions and stuff. Oh, um, and not Firestone Lo- and not Low and Brow. Firestone Walker. I think it was Firestone Walker, but I I could be wrong. It was one of the it was one of those. I basically had a tweet one time because they won some like award or whatever. I was I was like oh I, I said oh did they pay off somebody? Like I, I I think I said like oh did someone pay uh um pay uh. Uh, Pliny the Elder not to enter the competition or something like that. And they were like, we have never, and also I was like, wow, they really went, really went far on that. Thought it was Strauss. It could be, you might be right. Yeah, it was, it was, like I said, it was yeah, kind of silly. Who doesn't like juicy melons? I mean, I do. I love a good juicy melon. I just don't think it's, <laughs> it's just maybe in the beer isn't quite as flavorable. Which one uh, am I looking for? Guardian Down, if you see stuff from it's, and you should try them. Uh, Adroit Theory Brewing. Adroit Theory. Like I said, you can order online from them too, but they have like some local houses. I think they might be more like in Virginia. I want to say is like their main brewing place, but it used to actually get distributed out here. The reason it's not spell it out for me. (laughs) Detroit Theory. Oh, wait, no. Adroit. Yeah, if you see stuff from them, definitely try their stouts. I think are amazing. I love their IPAs. Like I said, they were they they were a brewery, and even still now, I know even though I know we can't get them. Anytime I go into places, I ask. I'm like, do you have anything uh, from a Droid Theory? Exquisite craft beer. Let's see, well, let me put a link in my own chat. Immensely satisfying. There you go. <clears throat> uh, Virginia. Yeah. Purcellville, Virginia. So if you're ever in the Virginia area. But yeah, they might be more distributed, like kind of where you're at, because I know you're, uh, like I said, on the East Coast. So like I said, might be an option. But yeah, I was, all of a sudden, I, like I, I looked on the can, I was like, oh, this isn't quite. And then yeah. when I found it on the website, all of a sudden I looked, I was like, I don't see it's a session on here. Yeah. I couldn't find the alcohol, because then I think someone in chat was like, oh, well, what's the alcohol then if it's a session? I was like, you know, I don't know. And then I had to go, yeah. I had to use my own link. But. Yeah, that one was a little bit of a, like I said, at least. Do we want to talk any more about? Oh, yeah, we can. Taste yeah, we, yeah, we still need to actually go to the taste on that. Oh, they've updated their website a little bit on the front. This used to be like the neat picture of their huge tap room. Oh, look, they've even got the Flora Cedar right there. Right Quality there. beer. Follow us. Yeah, I love, I mean, I still love Dragoon. That just was not. I'm scared buying their IPAs now. <laughs> they're regular. Well, they, they're they're regular. They no, had... I'm scared buying their regular IPA. Oh, the regular. Oh, well, yeah. Could work, but it was old. You said it was just at the two month mark. Oh, okay. Well, see, that's how well they know. I know. That's true. <laughs> we did find that out. We did find that out that that just one went, pushed that, it right that over went the severely edge. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. That was like one of the first beers I think I ever like literally dumped. Not first, but one of few that I have actually dumped. The taste? Oh. Yeah. I actually like it. I it's think because I, I had set my expectations accordingly. Yeah. It's, it does have the coffee. It's very, it does have that sweetness. Mm-hmm. So it is kind of like drinking a, the, a mocha latte. The caramel turns into more of like a like granulated sugar, kind of more like toward cotton candy, like you right. mentioned yeah, earlier. Yeah, absolutely. I think than, than a caramel. I wish the caramel had maybe a little more richness to it. Um, I would like that taste in a heavier stout. Or in, in a, a, or in an IPA. In a more roasted, oh no. <laughs> in a more roasted, uh, yeah. Then it wouldn't it necessarily even need to be more boozy, just heavier, darker malts, more yeah, of the roast. A little more to, of the malt back. To balance right. that sweet out a little it bit. It feels but like it's, it's missing something. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like it's missing it's something. Bad. Probably the best of the four. Although I don't remember the one that. I don't remember the one Joe had. I, think, I don't remember I think that, that one I think that one was pretty good. Yeah. But I remember he got that, and that was it was funny because it was like in a dark can. Oh we're like, and we're like, oh yeah, let's have a stout. And then we started to pour it. And then no. also I was like, I was like, oh my god, it's a golden stout. Why we can't get away from them? Oh my god, why? <laughs> Dear God, why? <laughs> and for all of our golden stout reviews, you can find them at aboutbeverages.com. <laughs> Just the one. <laughs> and go on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I do like the that label makes me want to go to a coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> Down here at the coffee shop.
Yeah, I would just like I think what did I say? Six percent, six point two percent, something like that. There's a good tie in though to that we're gonna be having the What are you talking about? Espresso martini. An espresso it's martini. A, it's a mocha latte, which is a coffee type beverage. Oh my gosh. I know. Good tie in. These things just kind of fall in line. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh yeah, we're gonna have a make the uh, first cocktail of the new year. Oh no wait. No. <laughs> no, we're actually well, I don't know if I've ever actually had an espresso martini. I'm pretty sure I have not. Okay. Yeah. I don't usually order those things. Yeah, I don't either. I did. Uh, we went out to Firebirds on Saturday night in an honor of it being. I almost went out to Firebirds. That would have been funny. Oh, that would. <laughs> we almost did. Like, cause it was, uh, we, were, we were debating, but we did wound up not doing either. But yeah, for uh, uh, Rachel's birthday, we almost did that. And I was almost like, I'm like, well, you want to go there after you get back from like, went to oh, the Renaissance, the Renaissance Yeah. I was like, she's like, well, it depends on when we get back or whatever. So yeah, we were one of the places we were talking about. And I had did you get a in, steak in honor. Oh no. In honor of it being uh <laughs> National Margarita Day two days before I had a margarita. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. They have, don't they have like a, do they have one that's got like a little extra spice to it, like jalapeno or I something? I didn't like get this? that one. I okay. just, it was, but it was good. I mean, it was, I, I, I just like that. A great combination yeah, of flavors. It is. It's a great combination. Anytime I have a margarita, I'm like, why don't I make <laughs> it is a little bit like that. It's like sometimes. me with sparkling wine. Why don't I have this more often? <laughs> it's true. And I actually did. One of my coworkers highly recommended a Trader Joe's uh, Platinum. Sonoma County Platinum Sparkler. And uh, I bought one and it was, it had a little more body to it. It had some nice, it was dry, but it had some nice fruit. And I, I, so I actually, I have already done that, which I always say every year. I should do that. And you've already started I, this year. So I that's already within the first month and that's two right. months. That's right. If you ever find yourself in a Chili's, uh, whether by choice or force, get the spicy marg there. I will have to do that. I usually, when we've gone there, I've gotten the, don't they have like a Presidente margarita or something <laughs> like that? That's always a good one. One of my favorite stouts was Wake Me Up Before You Coco. Nice. That's real good. Okay. By New Glory Brewery out of Sacramento. Straight up tasted like a mocha, but beer. They made it around 2016 or 17. Amazing, and they never made it again. Damn, Crocodile. Wake that does sound good, though. Before You Coco. Keith, I have to go to Trader Joe's tomorrow <laughs> because I need to find your pizza chips you guys carry. We still have them. I'm not sure if they're going to be seasonal or... A one-time thing, but well, at least our store still has them. So yes, they're they're good. They are good. Uh, we actually, I bought two bags of them uh, around the Super Bowl. We had one that day, and we had one the next day. And I said I can't buy these anymore because they're way too easy to eat a whole bag of chips. <laughs> so yes, but they are good. <laughs> Fellow victim Planty, of lucky, Baco, it is good to see you. Oh, Planty's here. That's perfect. Planty literally uh, made some meal the other night. I think they put a picture. Did you put a picture in Discord? And you were like, this is everything here is from Trader Joe's. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. We had them in feeding therapy today. That's right. Their feeding therapist always has a lot of stuff from Trader Joe's, like unique different foods and things. So, yeah. Paco did some grilling the other night. I did. That's yeah. what I, Yeah. All right. But yeah, there was something. Yeah. All the Trader Joe's love in here all of a sudden. Don't forget to pick up Cherry Vanilla or Dr. Pepper Zero. Ooh. Cherry Vanilla, Dr. Pepper Zero. Did grill you? Yeah, Paco grilled some burgers the other day for the first time in a long time. Shiitake and chicken stir fry. That sounds good. I'll have that. Yeah, it looked good. It looked very good. Planty is good to see you. Good to see everybody here. Yeah, Paco, thank you, Chucky, everybody. Crocodile, everybody, Baker, HJ. Guardian down. I'm still thinking. No. Lemon jasmine rice and chicken kebabs. Ooh, that sounds good too, Frosty. But yeah, Guardian Dan, if you see any of that stuff from Adroit, you should just try it for yourself. It's really good. Kids ate the burger and loved them, which was a huge deal. Yes, that is awesome. Lemon and jasmine rice. Chicken. That sounds, that does sound really good. I have to figure out what I'm going to eat. I always eat after. Do you eat, out, do you eat dinner after? Yeah, usually I have a little something beforehand just so that I, my stomach isn't empty. Just like, you know, some hummus and crackers or something like that. And then, uh, yeah, I go home and have a little sort of light dinner but yes I have some oh dinner. okay do you weigh it by the plate like it is like it's do light. It under, under no i shine ounces. a light on it <laughs> that's my light dinner <laughs> lady it's so good to light. see you been lurking while cooking dinner what are you cooking for dinner if you've got uh hands free and you can write that in there want to know what you're having for dinner make us hungry make us hungry yeah that's not that's that's not bad i don't know i probably won't buy any more of these <laughs> like i think i know what yeah. this. i think i know what this style is i think it is uh, definitely for uh like I said, some people I'm sure will enjoy this a little bit more if you want a little bit lighter. And, like, and coffee seems to be a big thing in all of these. Yeah. 
you know, because I think they're using that to get the roastiness in there. Would it be an intro to stout for people who, I, I wouldn't even say that because usually they're like a little too sweet and don't, yeah, they're I not know. really represent. I'd rather give that. them a, like a sweet or a, I'd rather give them a milk stout milk or stout. something yep. like that. Yep. Yep. That's you know, actually give them a stout. Yep. Is it in a can and going to pop the cherry can? It, I think most, oh, wow. that, oh, those cans. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh I see my what goodness. you did there. Spaghetti salad and garlic bread. Ooh, that sounds really Always good. Always good. I haven't had spaghetti like in classic like spaghetti and meatballs in forever. <laughs> I like that everyone in chat is running down the list and saying hi to everyone else. <laughs> That's pretty fantastic. Oh, man. Lucky still holding, still, uh, still against the margarita. Lucky had a bad margarita incident at some point recently. So I he used to love people. the margaritas. That was okay. one of his favorite things. And okay. now, unfortunately, it's been held back. Sometimes you just need a little time. Yeah, I think a little time away. Can, can it be? Do you have something like that that you don't have anymore, but then you have started having again? Food or alcohol that you all of a sudden no. like, that you're like, okay. Not so you've that, never had not, an incident this... so bad that you don't have that anymore. No, just you have an incident and then you stay away from, you know, maybe alcohol for a little bit and then you you know it's usually alcohol in better. general you kind of stay yes. away from yeah, yeah i get that yeah yeah i'm a long island iced tea man now oh my wife would love to hear that my wife loves long island iced teas that was definitely her go-to for quite a while he's just scared because he saw triple triple who triple h Keith and Andrew, we're not done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this happened. Goodbye, everybody. Wait, no. What was this? Yeah, there was something like this in the last couple of weeks. Something was streaming. I was like, they're like, oh, are you done? I'm like, no, I was just letting people know about some other yeah. things, some things going yeah, on. Yeah, no, we're going to, we're going to make the martini here. Yes. At the table. Yeah. We're going to go. Yeah. Okay. We're going to, we're going to have the martini table side. Table side, table top. Table, table side preparation. Yeah. We're going to go get all the ingredients. Uh, we'll mix it in here. We'll kind of talk about, uh, the recipe a little bit, the slight adjustment we're making to the recipe in a way. Um, we've got two different types of Bailey's like type Irish cream stuff that we're going to, that we're going to share, uh, or like I said, uh, taste, see if one is better than the other, I guess, or which one we should use. Yep. Um, so yeah, that should, uh, should be a lot of fun. We'll do that here in just a second. You go to and you go out to, oh really? Okay. Those, yeah, they can be dangerous depending on who is making them. Four blouses is too many. Uh, okay. So that was, it was a blouse margarita that got you. Only time in my life I was hung over before, <laughs> before supper. That was probably part of the problem then. That was probably part of the problem. Um, all right. Well, we're going to take a couple extra minutes here because we've got to gather up some Assemble glasses. Assemble our components and Gla Yeah, glasses, tools. some ingredients, um, uh, some some tool. Oh, oh, tools playing? Wait, wait, what? No, not, not Maynard. Oh, okay. Why not? Why not, Maynard? We have why to my cousin, assemble the, why not my cousin, the, the tools of the trade. The tools yeah, of the trade. my cousin, Joel. <laughs> <You're>, okay. <laughs> oh, we have Bad Birdie at the store. Oh, do you? That's uh, Four Peaks. It's like their seasonal juicy pale or something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, because you saw a truck driving with yeah. that uh, on the side of it. Well, guy wasn't drinking it while he was driving. Yeah. He was, like they had a sign on it, right, Pocket? It was just a guy in a truck, and he, he had it hanging <laughs> out the side. Have you tried that? Have you tried that one? <laughs> have not tried it. It's like a 5%. I don't know. Um, maybe it'd be good to compare it to the, <laughs> the Floricita. The Floricita. Maybe. <laughs> who is going to be a Walter Wright and who will be Jesse Pinkman? And in which? In what? I don't know. Heard it on an Arizona Sports Radio Show. Oh, gotcha. Yep. Yeah, we've got it. Oh, because we're mixing cocktails here. Oh, I get you. Because we're mixing up a drink. We're doing some chemistry. So, oh, so. okay. Okay. Well, I will definitely be. You're going to say, I won't yo, be Walter you, White. You say, yo, bitch, a few times or something <laughs> yeah. like that. Here's uh, your espresso, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't do that either. Jeez. <laughs> couldn't uh, do that uh, either. I'll uh, have to be. <laughs> Keith, Keith will be Gail. <laughs> Keith is going to yeah. be, yeah. Keith will be Gail. Gail Bedeker. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we'll take care of the rest of the stuff. All right. We're going to take a little bit of a break. We're going to grab some stuff. And then again, we're going to mix a cocktail right here on the show. We'll be right back. Be right back. Talk about the giant vodka bottle in the room. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for being here. 
Ooh, uh, Paco's making some super yummy steak wraps for dinner tonight. Steak, fajita meat, pickled jalapeno, cilantro, lime jasmine rice, and spicy ranch hero sauce. So yummy. Wow, more uh, jasmine rice. Lucky, okay. or uh, not lucky, uh, Frosty was having some jasmine rice earlier. Evening, Bev boys. Pocket. Hello, Pocket. Good to see you, Pocket. How are you? Back from the hair appointment. Oh, my gosh. Probably having some dinner or maybe done with that and enjoying. And Now, I know with, Welcome. with the way the world is these days, I have to ask... Which, which hair was getting done? Uh, which hair? Yeah. Just one. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I didn't know if it was that or up above or down below. Oh, I wait, no. Of, carpet I of the drapes? Uh, oh, man. Oh, man. That would be a, certainly a different type of oh, hair. Oh, my appointment. God. Where's the beating going on? <laughs> Who's getting in? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Terms of service. Having it now? Oh, that sounds absolutely delicious. All right. Well, we're going to... Uh, thing is a little bit, almost a little too much. Um... So we've kind of been definitely getting into uh, having cocktails a little bit more here on the podcast. People seem to have liked that. The more we've talked about it, uh, some mixed drinks. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, obviously looking for things that we have the majority of the ingredients, maybe only have to add one thing to it. Yep. Or if we're able to make multiple things from a few different ingredients, uh, you know, cause you got to get as much content out of everything uh, as, <laughs> as possible, which is kind of what we used to do. We used to do uh, more uh, longer form, specific podcasts about like we do four or five different types of tequila we do whatever and then that would turn into a mixed drink podcast like so then it would rotate from there so it's like we'd get two things kind of out of the of the same batch um but back this, when we started 15 years ago 15 years ago it's it's past that time yeah. now isn't it, it Fif- is. the site started 15 yep. years ago it's crazy this is kind of combining our first podcast which was coffee good and then into like you're saying how we used to do with the spirits when we by a few of them and then have a subsequent podcast where we made some mixed beverages. That's made true. a cocktail. That's <clears throat> very true. Um, <laughs> will there be Campari in this beverage? No. <laughs> no Campari oh, this time. No Campari this yeah, time. No. Um, so now how did this recipe come about? This has been, uh, this has kind of like been promoted at your local Trader Joe's yeah, store. So a little uh, bit. one of my coworkers also happens to be my son's best friend, uh, used to work for a restaurant and actually still does occasionally, but now, uh, he said he works he with me. He moonlights. Yeah, he does actually. Sometimes he can, you know, on a Friday or Saturday night, he can make some good cash as a, as a waiter or uh, as a bartender, which is what he did a lot. Uh, and this is, uh, one not of, a dancer. As far as I know. Okay. That could be, but I... Why are these all singles? But I don't want to know about that. (laughs) I don't want to know. (laughs) But this is his interpretation of uh, of an espresso martini uh, that he uh, has. Yeah, we've at least at at our store right now, we've got a little uh, display with the various ingredients there ready for you if if this intrigues you or not. And he's got the recipe card there, which is kind of cool, too. He talks about having uh, three espresso beans on there. Yeah. One for... Got them. Oh, good. Okay. (laughs) Brought the beans. Good. Very cool. Um, so. We will not be doing the uh, rim work that uh, is done there. You can do. It <laughs> was the best way I could think to say okay. it. Uh, people use a like kind of. Uh, they'll use what chocolate around the outside and a little bit of sugar yeah. then too, um, which would make it even sweeter. Like I said, that's totally fine if you want to do that little bit of extra artwork to it. We've got our coupe glasses here. Um, actually, so we've got two different types of Irish cream here as yeah. well. Um, neither of them are Bailey's. These are both uh, well. Is one of them av- so? One of them is available at Trader Joe's. One of them used to be. Yes, yeah, and one of them is a a wine based uh, oh, okay. I- I- Irish cream because at that time when we carried this, we didn't have our uh, our spirits license, our liquor license. Oh, okay. So we could only carry beer and wine, and since this was a wine based spirit inside this particular Irish cream, we could then carry it. Uh, and so, yeah, so that's the one I. Uh, uh, there's that one, and then there's a newer one. We thought we'd do a, a little like taste test, a little comparison, maybe see which one we want to use, or also just it's good to know the taste of these specific ingredients as you mix them together. That's true. Like the yeah. only thing we don't really need to taste here is the vodka. True. <laughs> uh, we've true. done enough tasting of that. Um, this one has a different feel to it. I don't know why. Like there's something oh, weird going on. I don't know. Okay. All right, so Maybe. you just want to try like so, yeah, a little bit of each one? This has been in the pantry for a little bit, but I was like, hey, it's unopened. This is great. We're going to make a beverage uh, using this particular. <laughs> How long have you had this exactly? <laughs> well, I figured out it's been at least four years and probably longer because we haven't carried this since we started carrying spirits at the store. And then uh, just a few weeks pour, be correct? For, it should. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely should. I still smell Irish cream. Yeah, the, the aroma is there. It's coagulated. 
Uh oh, he's got the poking tool. <laughs> oh, it's gelatinous. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Just move. Wait a minute. This is. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's like a slush. It's literally cream. It's like a slushy. <laughs> did, did you secretly churn this into butter? Did you turn this into butter? No, it's so funny. It was unopened oh, in our. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you keep your sodas for a very long time, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah. Does it pour now? Oh, no. Careful. Careful. Lumpy. No. <laughs> it still not does yet. not pour. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> when I picked that out of the pan, I, I had it in the back. I, I grabbed it, and I was like, because yesterday. It's squishy. <laughs> Squishy or scream. <laughs> I thought, you know what? Before I go over there with just that bottle, I need to make sure it's okay. And I, damn it. I definitely thought it was at least going to make that sloshing sound in the bottle. And when it didn't, I thought, hmm, this is a good thing that I checked this out. And uh, yeah, I the opened it up. Is right. And you could see there was like a cap on top. Yeah. And, and uh, so yeah, I shared that with my, my wife and my son. And we had a good, we had a good laugh. <laughs> out of that so then it was determined that yes we would bring this over and uh, i would share this experience with oh, you I, I and now feel we're movement. sharing this experience with you guys so i feel yeah. movement in this one this is what you get on leap day you get extra content extra fun that's right so so you said it over four years right <laughs> yeah it, it, yeah it, over four years but this one is one that we now do carry um it doesn't have to be a wine-based spirit because we have uh the lick we have the liquor license that we need to not have that but i've heard I've heard good things about this. Um, I thought you were going to hear say mixed reviews. No, like, I've, I've heard that it's. I've I've heard good things about this. This actually. is a uh, Golden Vale product of Ireland, Irish cream liqueur made with Irish whiskey. Okay, okay. good. He didn't want to waste the space in his recycling <laughs> bin. Apparently, <laughs> ooh, it smells very buttery. Yeah, definitely butter, buttery, scotchy. Aroma's nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm. I had been told that it was nice because it wasn't as sweet as some ba as Baileys and I would say, some yeah. others can be. And it is. I feel right. a little more of the booze kind of coming yeah. through, which I like. Yeah, I agree. That's good. I'm not going to lie. So did, did you say actually the official name of this beverage? Like what it said? Of this? Not, not of that, of the name of the drink we're about to make. Because I was a little, I was a little fooled by the name of it. I thought there was a certain other ingredient in there, but it tied into something else. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it Nick's is bourbon vanilla, uh, Nick's bourbon vanilla espresso martini. Yeah. So I thought there would actually be bourbon in here. I was uh, like, oh, I'm like, oh, which whiskey should I use? And I was like, oh, that's the bourbon vanilla bean bour paste. Bourbon, I guess, probably, right? Sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what we'll be using to add a little extra, probably a sweetness to it. Uh, this is this product's been selling like crazy. Uh, it can be used as a uh, in substitute or in place of uh, um, alcohol. Or, I think of the word. The you talk about vanilla extract. Vanilla extract. That's it. In place of vanilla what extract. What's it called? 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 <laughs> Closure. Mm. That's good. I actually like that. That's pretty yeah. tasty. Yeah. That would easily be throwing that in my coffee. So I need to drink <laughs> that before it turns to that. God, yes. Well, <laughs> opening it and using it is the first step to that. that so is, that is yes. kind of nice. <laughs> As you and can see, the I have a problem. tool hasn't even moved. And you're right. It's like a, it's like the dipstick to measure how much is in there. <laughs> it's yeah. It's so. It's where's your there. oil at? Yeah. Where's your Bailey's at? <laughs> There's where it made it to. Um. All right. So you tell me what the ingredients. Now, did you want to kind of, did you want to fully double it? I, I can probably fit that much in here. Uh, whatever you think. think is right. It, he says this serves one. But so what so serves one sad, so the one thing person. in here you'll find and I looked up some other espresso martini recipes a lot of the recipes will either they will usually use a Kahlua or a coffee liqueur of some sort and espresso coffee in different proportions this one uh, like I said you can he says you can go either way you can either right. use all of one or all of the other 
obviously you could use a balance if you've got both of them. We actually don't have Kahlua, so we are opting for using a complete amount of espresso in here for that portion of it. Since we've, like I said, we've got the vodka, we've got another sweetener here, we've got this paste that's sweet. Yep. Didn't think we needed the sweetness of the Kahlua too. And the coffee I made, I actually did it uh, today. I have a, like, yeah. it, it's not exactly, it's, it's not exactly espresso. It's stronger than a French press. Um, you'd yeah. use it on your stove. It's called the Bellotti Mocha espresso. Mocha Bialetta, I think. Mocha yeah. Bialetta or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, I've had a couple of those for, for years now. Um, so if you want a stronger cup of coffee, if you want that kind of. Yeah. I don't want to push it and say in the ball, but like it's kind of in the ballpark of espresso. It's like kind of, it's in well, the clubhouse. Yeah, give me a shot. Oh, wait, no. Yes. It's kind of in the clubhouse of the, of espresso. Like I said, so it's a little bit stronger. I don't think it's worth the effort. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that was what you were talking about it today. You wanted to do it. It, like you think about the time it takes to make a French press. I could have made a heavier French press that might've worked in here. This is going to have a little bit more texture. I tried it yeah. earlier. I was like, okay, this is definitely stronger, but it's, it's, this is the very definition I think of when people think about like, Oh, I, I don't want to make coffee at home. It takes too long or it's too much work. This is effort. This is like, I'm grinding my beans a little, I, I grind my beans anyway, but a lot of those things can be done while you're just heating up a water kettle right. so that in that five to six minutes, you can pretty much do the whole process. Whereas right. this is, preheating water to preheat the base then to have that sitting on the stove ready to go and then it's grinding your coffee finer portioning it out making sure you've got an exact met like for me i did a measurement of 40 grams of coffee to 400 mils of water which was seemed like what most people said because i haven't used it in so long i honestly looked up what the proper proportions were i did that so then it's measuring it out doing all that stuff getting it in there getting it together and then putting it on the stove now so that it actually can do like, so that it heats so much that it actually then forces, it forces up through, it up. Yeah. which okay. is like an espresso. That's the part where it gets to be like an espresso machine. Plenty. Thank you for the nine months of primers. Appreciate it. You were grinding that Irish cream on occasion. On occasion. It's over there. Oh, yeah. It's over there. It's it needs that. Planty, thank you for the nine months. I appreciate that. Yeah, that is thanks, super, Planty. super nice. Thank you for the nine months of primers. Um, so then it forces it up through there, making an espresso. So you've got all the lead up time of let's even conservatively five, six, seven minutes of getting all that stuff done. Water heated up separately. So that goes a little bit faster. But then it's sitting on the stove, having that heated and then watching it because you can't walk away from it because you've got to watch. And as soon as it actually starts percolating, you should turn the heat down so that it doesn't over extract and push through. So it's like once you start that process, it's not like, oh, I can let that steep yeah. while I go do something. No, like, one, yeah, no, once you do that. So then I sat there, you know, five, six, seven, eight minutes there doing that, staring at that and then turning it down and then like. OK, that's kind of turned a different color now. It's now just kind of pushing out like the last bits of crap. OK, take it off the heat. Now putting that under the cold water so it actually stops percolating. Like there's a lot of extra steps. Yeah. Is the beverage worth it? That's up for you to decide. Yeah. If, like I said, if you're that and I, and I love coffee. And after I got done with the process and like tried, it, I was like, oh, that's pretty good. Like so that definitely is. And I could see a place for it, but. It's definitely not something I'd be like, oh, I got to make my whatever every, every day. day. Yeah. It, to me, it's a weekend. I want to have the experience and I yeah. want a little extra. I'm making a drink like this. 100% worth Maybe it. Maybe you have some guests this. over, a couple of guests. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not too many. <laughs> yeah. I think the bigger, well, li so this was that right there, which is not even a cup of this concentrate. That is a full size brew out of the bigger one. And they, okay. Because they have many different sizes of this. Yeah. I think mine. I probably could have done up to if, but I couldn't fit more coffee in the bat. Like that was basically where I measured my water to was based on, yeah. I was able to get 40 grams of coffee in there. Maybe could have hit 45, but they tell you not to pack it in there. They just tell you to level it off. Okay. Cause then that can get, be too much. So right. in doing that, like I said, that was where I could do. So it was 400 milliliters of water anyway. But like I said, the, the product that came out was really good. <laughs> um, but anyway, all right. So should we just go from the top down? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we are about to make so do you want Nick's to double bourbon it? vanilla espresso martini. So are we doubling it? Well, that's up to you. I mean, if there's too much, uh, I'm sure Litha would probably. I'm not worried about the drink. I was just worried about like getting. Well, it then all if in. you don't want to, then if you, if you're concerned, then we'll just do a single. You do. It should be able to fit. Let's go with the double. We can do it. It's only eight, eight ounces total. All right. You have ice in there already. I do. <laughs> uh, bourbon vanilla so be beans. So yeah, uh, one and a half teaspoons oh it's oh wait is there something in it? okay i'm gonna mix it up a little bit <laughs> okay that's interesting it's this is also gelatinous we got a lot of things going here today it's like ectoplasm oh it is right, so i collect spores molds and fungus 
Yeah, where's Yastrzemski? Can someone, <laughs> anyone want to do that redemption in chat? <laughs> Is that the half? No, I'm having to guess the half. Oh, you're guessing. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. It'll be good. Since we're not doing the Kahlua, if it's a little on the sweeter side. Do you have any hobbies? There we go. <laughs> Guardian down. You got me. I collect spores, molds, and fungus. <laughs> nice. And gelatinous beverage mixes. Gelatinous. All right. Done. All right. And how much does this paste run for? That was four ninety nine. Okay. Uh, this is eleven ninety nine. This is okay. The the Irish cream. So next. Uh, so next is uh, the vodka and the Irish cream part. Ooh. And so the vodka is one and a half ounces. So three ounces of three each. Actually, three ounces vodka, three ounces Irish cream. Coffee wasn't next. What? He has he has his fourth step as adding the espresso. Oh, okay. But no, that's fine. I think yeah. I was thinking of the ingredient list. Yes, ingredient list uh, is yes. Okay. You're right. Three ounces. Three ounces vodka. Three ounces of three vodka. Ounces Irish cream. The Irish never quit. <laughs> they get into those really long and drawn out wars. No, I don't know. And so, yeah, so with, we got St. Patrick's Day coming up in a couple of weeks, a little over two and a half weeks. <laughs> Made sure little to do a little bit of a tie in there. Made sure to do this one before St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Since our last time we did St. Patrick's Day stuff, it did not work did out not so good. Did not go so good. No. Which and is the other John Cougar Mellon Camp song. Didn't work so good. And then the espresso to finish and shake the mixture. So the espresso is double shot of fresh espresso or one ounce of Kahlua. So double shot thinking, okay, so two ounces of this then? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, is that it? That is it, yeah, because he also includes that you could do like, like the chocolate syrup and sugar on the rim as a garnish, which, you know, this, that would definitely make it more of a desserty drink. Um, it's kind of a desserty drink anyways, yeah. especially with those things on there. But we knew we would like sugar and chocolate syrup <laughs> yeah, that's not, uh, on the that's rim. That's not a tough one. So we just thought, let's, let's taste the beverage itself. So I like that you're using the new coupe glasses. There you go. <laughs> Wait, can't see? What? Oh, yeah. The new coupe glasses. This looks like you're holding your Jay knows up. exactly what these are. Yeah. We, fi we figured out. Ooh, that looks pretty. It looks good. There's something about that particular color that mocha or coffee ice cream, and it's just very mm. already, like I said, gets the get your mind thinking. Mm -mm. And then are we gonna do the other garnishy? I mean, I brought the beans in. I think we should do it. Oh, well, that was actually like the perfect amount for that. Okay. Well, he said that recipe would serve one. So we are, now we are adding uh, three coffee beans or espresso beans, one for health, one for wealth, one for happiness. Those are all good things. <clears throat> Thanks, Martha Stewart. <laughs> Look at that. They all stayed on top. All right. Look at that. Mixed before your very eyes. I know. Before People liked this eyes. the other day. I was doing some okay. of these mixed drinks on air. So Was that helping uh, sub... sub September, September, February. It did. It did. Seemed like people that? were excited because, especially the first one, because people were like, "We're gonna get you drinking before noon." Because <laughs> it was like, because I did like, I think I went like fifteen or sixteen hours or something. I kept going. Oh my god! I had a timer, so it was like as subs came in, it added to a timer, so the oh, people wow. kept me going. Then, so I was like, "Yeah." So yeah, there was it. You one, did that long? Something like that. Holy yeah. crap! So there was at one point it was funny because it was down to, and I appreciate everybody that was there for that. It's fantastic. We'll be probably doing something again like that next month too, but um. It was very funny because uh, the usual, like as soon as it would start to get under like 10, 15 minutes, then all of a sudden a few people would add stuff and I push it back out. And so then at one point they're, they're like, I think I, I said something. I was like, oh, we finally made it to under five minutes. They're like, why would you say? I was like, oh, people want to want to keep going. Like, I'm like, I'm doing OK. Like, yeah. I don't care. Might as well. Yeah. So you're like Jerry like, Lewis. You need an epic man. Yeah. It got down to like three. And then all of a sudden, like, I can't remember. Someone like came in and it was like five. And all of a sudden it pushed it back to like a half hour. <laughs> like sometimes those could be like, oof, I was I was almost <sighs> ready to be done. But can't believe I missed it. You would still be going. <laughs> I'll be doing one in, in March too, Guardy. Now I'll make sure I do it when you're around. Like I said, we'll probably do it later in March. We'll do it. I think I did it on a Friday last time too. So like I said, he'll find just when I thought I was out. They pulled me back in. 
subscribe for one month. Subscribe for one month. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. But no, that looks really good. First time using the new coupe glasses. Cheers. Cheers. pretty good that's delicious that's pretty delicious yeah (laughs) Yeah. that's actually pretty delicious well that and this can't you actually mentioned something last week about you know i need to try an espresso martini sometime and then that was well because it was interesting um, tie-in well because it was usually always uh berserker when he's in chat has asked us one time like what is our espresso martini recipe i was like we really don't have one and then i had asked him he's like no no i want to see what your take is and i was like well i guess we need to start trying some okay do you taste the vodka (laughs) It adds that little, you know, bit of heat at the back, I guess, on the, you know, that just the alcohol. That's all you really get from that. Uh, everything else is. The I don't because it's the. Show. I would say the coffee, the Bailey's, kind of come through the strongest. Yeah. Or I keep saying Bailey's, but the like I said, the Irish cream, Irish cream. liqueur, yeah. those come through the most. Sushi, it is good to see you. <laughs> Hopefully, you're having a wonderful evening, Sushi. It is good to see you. Um, but yeah, like I said, I get that stuff the most. The coffee. Um, I wouldn't even mind the coffee coming through a little more. Yeah. I probably would if I was. I could see, I, I, I think I could see where you would want, where maybe you would actually like the Kahlua in there. And I haven't I, had Kahlua I, in a long time, but that would, adds ru- right rum. Isn't it uh, coffee? Honestly, I, someone made some homemade Kahlua for me one time and it was delicious. It's coffee, rum. you just drink Kahlua straight? No, it'll kill you. See, that's a shame. The vodka waits in the closet all week for its chance to come out. It's time to shine. And it's like, no, no, you're staying, staying hidden. Not Fridays. I'm not home all day. Okay. Maybe we'll do the weekend this next time. We did a Friday this last time. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do it on the weekend then. Yeah, that's good. That'd be like, uh, now you could take it. You could definitely turn. That would be a, a, a shake. You plop some vanilla ice cream in there and coffee. Ooh, coffee ice cream. Even oh yeah, that, if you put yeah. a scoop of coffee, that would be the extra there. coffee that you might be looking for. Yeah, I can, but I that. could see. Quick, it's the easiest way to make Kahlua. Okay, vodka, white sugar, water, vanilla, instant coffee crystals. No, thought, that's boring. Okay. That's no, was, that's. Was, there goes there my tax rum. refund. <laughs> <laughs> Pour that over some vanilla ice cream. Yeah, we still need the vanilla ice cream and olive oil. For some drinks you can make Kahlua homemade mm. recipe. Let's try this. Wow. I yeah, I think the for for me, I would like the coffee to come through a little more. So either I'd want an actual full strong shot of espresso. I'm glad I I'm glad I took I did what I yes. did today. Yeah, definitely. Because comes it, because if I had done even a strong French press, I don't think it would have been enough. Actually, because even I, here it's a little bit on the lighter side. Can what? I have just a little shot of oh, that sure. coffee in my my shot glass? Yeah, go ahead. Someday you actually have to do that on stream. I know someday we will actually, I think we, so it's way in the archives, but we should do that more often. I just need to have some vanilla ice cream sitting around because we do that way too often. But there was one episode where it was when we had the cherry chocolate stout from Stone from Brewing Stone, yeah. and we actually did pro, yeah. pour that over vanilla ice cream and it was delicious. This would work great over that. Hmm. Oh, that's good though. Yeah. So that would so be. So now do you still want one? I do. Even after everything I said. Yes, because okay. because I would like to have that. On, there, there are some mornings that it's just you have a little extra time. The best part of waking up. No, no Folgers. Um, yeah, and that would be, that'd be okay. fun to have that. So, But yeah, I think I, it works well for, the, like I said, I would, the, there is some weight, like I... It made me want to experiment a little bit with that. Like I said, even though the process was... Once I've started that, then I love the science of it. So yeah. then I was like, okay, I wonder if I could have done what I did and tamped it down a little bit to get it to get, like, it was yeah. still a pretty slow brew though. Cause I ground it like maybe I, I, and I think I ground it pretty good. Probably could have been ground a little finer maybe. Okay. Um, but yeah, vanilla ice cream, this would have been good over. But yeah, for me, if I was going to tweak this recipe, just literally having these same ingredients, I would want to add in whatever that measure of Kahlua is just to have a little bit more of like that coffee sweetness. And then I would back off the Bailey's by like a little bit like this one. Yeah. You know, uh, like I said, it was what went out 
three ounces because it was an ounce and a half. Was that what it was? Yeah. Like yep. not a lot, but like maybe like I'd go to an ounce as opposed to an ounce and a half and I would throw in an ounce of Kahlua or something like that, which I know it kind of throws off the recipe a little bit, but that's really um, good though. It still is really good. That's, it's, it's yeah. Yeah. The Irish cream definitely kind of takes over a little bit. Yeah. Um, I, and I, and yeah, that coffee, you can have one of this with a, with a side shot of espresso on the side. Mm -hmm. I think that yeah. almost gets better, even better the more it sits. The I keep having a sip. I'm like, yeah. oh, there's a little more depth there than yeah. I realized it for. Yeah. That's really good. It was actually really good. And I mean, like with the process I did with making that, that's enough to make. As this recipe stands, we made two, maybe like four to six cocktails. Yeah. So like, and, and it can keep around for a little bit. You'd want to use it over a couple of days. Like you don't want coffee sitting around in your fridge for too long. I think but. Nick actually has a little espresso machine at the. At his, at, at his apartment, at their apartment. Oh, really? So, yeah, so he probably, I'm guessing, just nice. actually use a little shot there. My ex-girlfriend was a freak. This would be probably, this would have probably been good poured on her. Milked? I'd like to pour this coffee all over. I'd like to pour this drink on her. Where would you mm. like to lick this off of? Hmm. Belly button, please. <laughs> Dang, that's good. Your coffee is good. More? <laughs> yeah, yeah, more well, I don't. This is this is your blood, sweat, and tears this morning. So it's why I, heard, I, heard I did it. I did do the process earlier because I was like, I need to make sure that this is going to taste right, work out. Because I hadn't used it. All. Actually, the only thing that's sad, and I, I so I told you I have two of those things because I yeah. got them both as gifts, like right. at the exact same time. I wound up having, and I'm glad I did. I wound up having to use the larger one because the smaller one I don't have the basket part for it. So I don't know if I can oh. buy that. I'll have to I look. would bet you could. It's like the little mini, like whatever, the part where you actually put the coffee and stuff. Yeah. I, I, I didn't have that. And then the bigger one, that one obviously did not swap over or fit. So I had to do the larger amount. But again, which is not much larger. Larger. It was literally 400 mils of water. Like, so what? 14 ounces. I mean, I can't remember what size. Yeah, I've got one in my, I've had one in the Amazon cart now for over a year. So just buy but it now. I, well, I, what are they? You said the price fluctuate. What do those usually run? 50? Uh, yeah. Well, I don't like, I don't know what size the one is that you have but let me take I think mine is look. technically a six no that can't be right that beats it's way down there oh my god you have a lot of things in your cart yeah we yeah you put things in there you do a lot of searching oh there it so is. i have let's see what is the size it's whatever the size i have is six oh nine cup 65 dollars that's a pretty big one i've that's, seen that I, lower that's definitely gotta be bigger than the one. That's bigger than what I have. <laughs> I've seen I'm not ashamed I've to seen say that it. price down in the in the low fifties. So that one fluctuates. But uh, yeah, I don't know if that. I just thought if I'm making it, I'm probably making it for other people as well. Okay. Um, do you think so, you would do? But do you think it'd be that, or do you think it'd be more often than not you on a weekend, like you just said, extra time? Probably more often than that. But I would like to be. Do you have to make it to capacity, or could you make a smaller batch in the bigger? I feel you would want the compression of the full amount okay. of coffee. In there. Right. But I could be totally wrong. Look up some videos. <laughs> like, again, I, that was my research from today. You know, you can just uh, save those things to a wish list, right? Yeah, no, they're he, in my, it's no, my he, saved. That's what I was saying. Like I said, he was literally scrolling and it was his, yeah, wish, was scrolling. his wish list yeah. is extensive. Yeah, we've, we've, we put things in there and there's stuff in there that I'm like, you, know, you go through everyone's like, oh, I'll get rid of that now. Oh, I guess I can get rid of that. But some things like you've spent a long time Finding the right one. And I've you're worked like, hard yeah, I'm not going to get rid of this. Oh, you mm. said cart? Oh, yeah, no, no. It's his wish list. Sorry. Yeah, if he said cart, he meant wish list. I have 43 Amazon wish list. All right, Paco, that's, that's a little ridiculous. Well, it's, not a, it's, the save, it's in the save for later. Oh, it's put not, it on a wish list then. Okay, now well, I agree. What, what is it? What is it what, what, what's, what's the difference? Save for later is kind of... That one always is like... It's like almost in my cart. It feels like there's Correct. something about it. Whereas yeah. the wish list is like... Everything you like, you're interested. I don't know. It's that's I, kind of what save for later is for, because I'm saving it for later, not buying it now. It's not in the cart. Saving I guess I don't later. like it that it's on that scrolled scroll. Like I don't like that screen getting ah, all kind of okay. like which I, I which I do have some random stuff in there because I had it in my cart and then I was like, oh wait, I don't want to do that right now. I'm gonna yeah. and I right. happened to do that. Organized by theme, use, room, hobby, person, holiday, etc. Jesus Christ, Paco. wow. That's some organized shopping. Some of these lists only have one thing on them. But yeah. I still had to start a new list. That's right. Because that did not fit. <laughs> uh, Paco, we made an espresso martini using uh, an Irish cream liqueur, uh, some espresso, 
uh, brewed espresso, I should say. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, what else is there? Vodka was in there and bourbon, uh, vanilla bean, and paste. bourbon, vanilla bean paste that you can find at Trader Joe's. Find it. Listen, <laughs> Mister, I know it's delicious. It's delicious. I would oh, have, yeah. like. I would have tweaked it a little bit just to have a little more of the coffee come through. But yeah. I would definitely would not like turn this down if I had it. Yeah, no, this is really good. Would be good. also good like again like we said with some coffee ice cream or pour it over on something else. Get to the end there. You almost drink the bean. Could uh, make it careful. with Krupnik. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, God. Everything's better with Krupnik. So the bottle. Need that now after having my dinner? Yeah, there you go. They'd be a perfect after dinner cocktail. The Jack Daniels that I was talking about last week that I should have brought over. The one from the Bicentennial. Oh, yeah. So I, I took that bottle down and I was I, I took the the lid off and I'm, and I'm looking at it and then there was little bits of cork dried to the side. I was cleaning that off. And then I looked in and I'm like, this is cloudy. And there was oh. a piece of something, you know what? I thought, you know what? I'm just going to dump this. So I dumped it. <laughs> it smelled just like cheap whiskey. So it's still Which is kind of like, what they said it's, anyway, too. It's right? what they said. So now what I thought since the, the, that top with the, the cork part had rotted out, uh-huh. I thought when I finish the bottle of something else, I'll just use that as a top and I'll, I thought maybe I'd use that bottle as like a, an infinity bottle. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, just, you know, when I get that, cause that's when you get down to like the end of something, right? Mm-hmm. You just start pouring. Yeah. You can in. start adding into there for yeah. all the whiskeys that you drink. So yes, <laughs> my infinity bottle that I'll make in 50 years. Yeah. It takes a long time. <laughs> Bean, thank you so much for the raid. What were you doing? What were you up to? Thank you so much for the raid. That is super nice. You guys are not following a real human being. I played that song at work today. What's that? Moving out? Big shot. Oh. (laughs) So moving out. No, that was Big Shot. It's moving out. No, it's not. It's Big Shot. Okay. Moving out is... What's up, so, Abby? So Being as good as you. Do we need? Do we need to go to the? What? What can we do to play that? It's Big Shot. Anthony walked at the grocery store. Well, yeah, that's that song, but that's not what you have as the. Are you sure? I am one hundred percent sure. Oh my god. Maybe it's a big Anyone shot. Maybe it's a big shot because they came. Maybe it's a big shot because they came in here. Oh my gosh! Please. <laughs> Make sure you hit the heart that is at the top of the screen. If it's purple, turn it green. If it's already green, you're good to go. If that heart has already gone away, which it probably did because we were yapping about things and stuff. There you go. There's a link. Right click on that. Open up a tab and hit the follow button. Last Epoch. How is that going? I've seen some other people playing that too. How is it, Bean? Good to see you. I also get overwhelmed if I have to sift through a lot of unrelated things to find what I need for a project or I squirrel and get distracted from the original project. No, squirrel. I'm glad that works for you. I'm glad that works for you. I was surprised to hear such a high number. I think I have like four or five lists, but I don't save like enough things. And I just save them all to save for later. So (laughs) save them for later. Save it for later. Um, So this one is four cups of water, instant coffee, uh, brown sugar, sugar, light brown sugar, dark brown sugar, ever clear, ever clear. Could be vanilla like extract. So similar. I, know, recipe, I thought it was rum, but I'm that wrong, was a little obviously. rich, richer in there too. I mean, someone may have done like a little yeah. something else extra there. I'm at a point I'd rather play Destiny than Last Epoch. A love hate relationship. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I've not tried that one yet. Glad they released a the game I hadn't uh, played since May of last year. Oh, okay. I definitely have heard of it, but I'm not too familiar with it at all. Well, what are we thinking about for next week? What are you? We what were are just. You thinking? What were we talking about? You had. Well, I was talking about that I'd like to do some sort oh, of uh, blind tasting. Yeah. Uh, of either, like I said, either some stuff that is, uh, it would be stuff that I have on hand. So we could right. either do, uh, we could either, you know, like I said, pick out three, like say rye whiskeys or something like that, or bourbons or whatever, try those blind, like, but we would know which ones they are. I could have my wife pour them, or we could literally have her pick out anything out of what I have out there. And she brings us in three little tastes of something. So we have no clue what they are. Which would then be, like I said, that would be, and then we pick it out. I guess I would like it to be a little bit more refined. Yeah, let's define refined. it somewhat. Yeah, defined it so then we just kind of have an idea of like, you know, maybe, I, yeah. maybe I've, I'll have to look to see how many different of, of the same category I can find. Yeah, um, yeah. have her pick. Yeah, if I can find like, sim, like say if I can find, okay, we have six bourbons or whatever or something like that. And then I tell her like, okay, 
Keith and I will know that there's six of these, but just go ahead and pick three of them. Like, I don't know what three you're going to pick. We'll have a larger knowledge of something because I can't, I can't just send what it. you could I do, can't just tell her to go in there and pick out like bird because well, she won't know. And usually we get started before she gets home, but I guess that'd be the main event. So she probably, would yeah, be that'd be fine. She'd but, be but if, if she didn't, you could get some, I could, well, I don't know if I'll see you before then, but I could get you like some wine bags. You could pick five things, put them in bags. Yeah. And then I could mix them up. I won't know what they are, but then when I spin them and mix them, you won't know what they are. And then we could pour them. Pick three. You know, yeah, something I, like I mean, that. I might know by the bottle. You might. But not if I mix them up. And I, <laughs> like, hey, what's this one with the horse on top uh, of it? And I, I think if, that's Blanton's. Well, no, what you, well. <laughs> well, this one's heavy. I think this is Frey Ranch. <laughs> but I probably wouldn't know that. So if you put, say, six things in and you're like, okay, pick three of these. You, and you put them in bags. So they're, I don't know what oh, they okay. are. Oh, okay. You pick six things. I pick three. I don't know what they are. Then I'm going to pick, I write like one, two, and three on them. And then I bring them in. And, you know, I don't know. We could, if, if we had to, but if, yeah, if we have something else before that and uh, she needs to take the day off. And Litha promises <laughs> she'll be here on time, then we'll be okay. I think you should go completely we'll okay. blind. Save that crusty Irish cream. Yeah, we're not. My the... scheme is convoluted. <laughs> Actually, it would work. That one does seem a little extra. <laughs> Well, if you're dealing, so if you're dealing with two people and you're trying to keep it entirely blind, that's fair. No, that's it fair. It has to be somewhat kind. But, but yeah, yes, like I get it. it. So, so yeah. yeah, so she'll be here. Okay. Yeah, as long as she's here, like I said, we could have her. Like I said, either <laughs> so long as that Irish cream isn't one of them, we'll know right off the bat because <laughs> the glass would be empty. Yeah, you couldn't pour it. <laughs> I think this one was the Irish cream. Yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, like I said, so I don't know if we want to do it as bourbons or rye. <laughs> Ever put apple juice? Yeah. Hmm, this one's a little sweeter than I mm, thought yeah. it would have been. It's bubbling, too. I like this one. And this one yeah. <laughs> it tastes like a peanut. Um, yeah. But yeah, so that's something we've kind of been talking about for a little while now, doing something kind of completely uh, uh, like since so we could taste them just, you know, and then and then rate them like, oh, this one's my favorite. Here's the order yeah. I put them in. And then like, what did I wind up picking? Yeah. Because obviously, you know, there's certain things that it's like, I think that I love. I think it's my favorite thing. That's the pale hill stiffler. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's about what that Irish cream one would be. Uh, even for stiffler, that'd probably be a little bit stiff. Uh, but yeah, so we had talked about that and then we're obviously, if we're having a bunch of bourbon, we probably should be a little lighter earlier in the show then too. Yeah. Um, maybe, uh, hmm, maybe a beer. I, I mean, I like beer. Oh, like a, something on the lighter side. Maybe like a Floresita. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. No, I'll we'll start with that. Maybe no. like a nice Pilsner. I don't know. We'll see. I was planning on going to tap and bottle or total wine tomorrow, but I don't necessarily have to do that anymore, but I still <laughs> maybe could to see if I could find something within the next few days. But uh, right. so yeah, let's at least base it around that, uh, that whiskey. Okay. So uh, we're going to do some sort of whiskey tasting. blind next week of stuff yes. that I have uh, in the bar. Like I said, you and I will just have to decide if we want to have it be specific to bourbon or rye or whatever, and then kind of go from there. If it's bourbon, there's probably a little bit more room for like okay i could even set up like okay here's pick from these nine or something like i'm not gonna yeah. know, you know and then have her pick out three of them or whatever and pour that stuff so that sounds good all right okay. well that will be a part of the plan for next week but thank you guys uh, for being here on the leap day you got a bonus day today you still got a little bit of time left to do something fun with your extra day whatever that might be maybe uh try something you haven't tried before um or maybe just get a little extra sleep maybe this is how people actually catch up on sleep on that extra day you have that extra day to catch up on sleep so much fun tonight thank you thank you guys all for being yeah, here i appreciate you, you all so much can you get a spoon in that bottle oh god you can't unfortunately you could get me maybe that bar spoon might fit in there H-J. thanks to uh awesome. nick for his uh inspiration yeah and very much recipe. So. we appreciate that so keep those coming um but yeah what is sleep planty sleep, sleep is uh for the week from what i understand that's what people tell me it's elusive the elusive heap. Yes. Uh, but yeah. So, all right. So blind whiskey tasting next, next week or on, I don't know, what's a better word for it? Like, I don't know. I always feel they weird. always said deductive. deductive? I like that. Deductive. Deductive tasting. Deductive tasting? tasting. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for serving up the best beverages, lady. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate nice. it. Um, let's go say hi to Mr. Chucky Charms. Oh. He was in here earlier. He was cooking up some food. He was serving a some, cold one. He was having some Troy Aikman beers. Whiskey challenge there accepted. GG y'all crocodile. Thank you guys for being here as well. But yeah, let's go say hi to Chucky. He is playing some hell divers pocket. It was good to see you too. Yes. Thanks for um, dropping in. He is playing some hell divers and uh, yeah, probably having a good time. looks like he is diving with a longtime friend. I don't know if that longtime friend is democracy or actually is a real person. Who knows? Uh, but we'll find out. 
Good night, everybody. Good night, Have a great evening.